Hey, hey, hey guys, what is going on? Klaus here. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. What in the world just happened? Come back here. My iPad was like, whoa, hey, don't touch me, man. All right, so today we're going to enjoy some time playing our Rush accounts, Archimedes. And because we did an episode, a live stream on Friday, my king is still asleep and he's going to be waking up level 15 in three days, which I believe happens to be Friday. So we're definitely going to have our Fridays. Let's fix that Rush Fridays, whatever it's called. Uh, so that that's going to be a lot of fun. But today, guys, we've got one builder available. So we're definitely going to be using him, putting something down. But we... Or I think we're I think we deserve a little barch and chill. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I feel. I feel like we deserve a little barch and chill. So today, grab your device, grab your phone, your iPad, whatever it is that you're gonna be using, your tablet, and let's boost together, guys. I'm gonna jump in. I'm going to boost up the barracks. I've got one upgrading, so you know, I think Barts will take a little bit longer to upgrade or like to, to, to train, but it's worth it, guys. So there's 30 gems for that. I'm also only going to boost my queen because obviously my king's upgrading, and I don't really need spells i've got all these excess lightning spells from the electric minion event so i've got everything boosted up let's let's not waste no time let's go out and just get some some loot also guys by the way special shout out to the mvp from last stream that is stark koz and he had the largest donation of ten dollars so special shout out to him my friend now i'm going to rev i'm going to reset that to our famous question marks and whoever happens to be the first donator will end up on top as the MVP and then after that the largest donation of the day will end up on top so just filling you in on that also if you are new thank you so much for being here the blue letters at the top left hand side of the screen those are the names of the most recent subscribers of the channel so thank you all so much for the support and then the orange letters the orange names to the right of that are my patrons who are involved in a uh, fund like uh, basically supporting the channel uh, financially and also we're involved we're part of a uh, like a like a secret chat so if you want to be uh, if you want to be a member of that there is a link down below in the video description and uh, yeah guys it's been great thank y'all so much for being here today's gonna be an amazing day as we barge and chill I might I mean I'm, I'm at I'm at 2010 trophies I'm at like the very very bottom of Crystal League so hopefully we find some good loot we had some problems yesterday whenever we boosted on my town hall 9 so let's see if this gets any better guys let's see Let's hope, let's pray if it gets better today. Uh, but because if not, we'll have to, I guess we'll have to, uh, you know, get, get, we're going to have to do something a little bit different because, you know, maybe Lunian to where we can attack stronger bases. And oh, here we go, guys. Donation hype in the chat for the first donation of the evening or the, the day. Thank you so much to Justin Rogers for the $2 holla. And he is now, as the first donator of the day... The MVP. That is what's up. So thank you, Justin, for that. Now I've got the, the MVP updated. Bam! There we go. Thank you, Justin, for that. Donation hype in the chat. Yeah. $2 holla. All right, guys. So searching for bases. You guys know how Barch works. It's Barbarians first, Archers second. We're going to grab some easy loot today. As long as the collectors in mind bases are actually available, you never know. You never know. It might be difficult to find loot. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's easy. So we'll just have to see. Also, guys, by the way, if you type exclamation point donate, it'll give you a link to be able to donate if you do not have an Android device. Otherwise, you can just use Super Chat like Justin did, uh, just because I see some questions in the comments about um, how to do it. So, guys, thank y'all so much for being here today. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm excited. We're having bad luck so far, though. I'm sitting here searching forever and ever, and of course, you guys understand that the uh, that the, the the way you farm, you've got to be patient. You've got to find bases that are good for you. And if we have a hard time finding loot with Barch, then we'll have to try something else. But here is what I live for right here, guys. Look at this. A dead Town Hall 10. The Expos are dead. We've got some Burnt Down Infernos in the middle. And all the loot is on the outside of the base in the Collectors in the Mines. This is perfect. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. And we got our Queen. Yesterday, we didn't have our King. I think I don't remember anyway in, anymore. I, I I forget from day to day what I do. It's really bad. So all right, guys. So let's get in here and let's get some loot. I'm gonna drop a. Actually, no, I don't need a. I don't need a poison spell. I'm just gonna four finger deploy these barch guys. These the barbarians down first. That group on the right hand side looks like they're struggling, but the group 
on the bottom, the left, and on the right look like they're doing just fine. We're going to grab as much of the loot as we can, prioritizing Elixir, but Dark Elixir is always good. And this base, this rushed base, guys, is so close to being done with the Elixir that it's actually quite mind-blowing. 37, 37, man. It's amazing. <laughs> 37 episodes of this series so far, and we're absolutely killing it, guys. And look at this. We got a full, a full <laughs> elixir collector, and I, I have to decide how I'm going to use my queen. Okay, so we do we want trophies or do we want loot? That is the question. That is cool. We got two minutes. We got two minutes to decide this. So we're going to use our queen. We can use lightning spells to grab some of the loot. Let's look, let's go ahead and just commit to that. We're going to do two lightning spells on that elixir collector because they were they were discounted. They were 2,000 elixir apiece. So that was totally worth it. Now let's get the... Uh, let's get... Let's drop two lightning spells on this quadrant of buildings here. This will get us some dark elixir and some gold. So that's all good stuff. There we go. Wow, that dark elixir survived. Wow. Okay. And... Um, uh, Let's get the Dark Elixir again. One more. All right, so that was all five of our lightning spells. We got five more stored up. They're not cheap anymore, so I'm not going to, you know, train up anymore. I'm not going to brew up anymore. Let's use our queen to snipe the town hall. That way we don't lose the attack. We're at 40%, so we won't win by percentage. We'll get a one star. And look at that, guys. The queen has such an amazing range that we're not going to lose the attack. She's not going to die. I'm going to pop her ability the moment that, um, you know, the moment that she starts taking some damage. And then we'll cut out. So... Queen doing some work. Look at this, guys. Get that Town Hall, girl. That is awesome. Take out cons. No loot from that. Pop the Queen's ability. Um, let's uh, let's cut out now. There we go. Nice. All right. Well, the loot. 254,000 gold plus a loot bonus. 325,000 elixir and 3,600 dark elixir. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Plus seven cups. That is what I like. I like that very much so. So now we can get the next barch going. Again, we've got five spells pre-stored up. Oh, and looks like we have Justin Rogers again. Wow, the MVP for sure. <laughs> uh, let's get some more donation hype up in the chat. Thank you, Justin, for the support as every single dollar goes toward a new laptop based on the green and white bar above my head. Every donation goes toward that. So thank you very much for that. And I went ahead, bumped them up to $12 MVP because they were back to back. Now, We've got our next barts uh, ready to go. Our queen's already alive, so let's go straight out and get some more loot, guys. The the collector bases makes it so easy. I love using barch because it's such a cheap army. It's so quick, and it's the best way to get elixir. And you guys know we're 37 episodes into this Fix That Rush series, and elixir is still the top priority for us. Let's get another hallelujah. We need some loot hype in the chat. Look at this, guys. Look at this set. We got a dead tunnel tent again with burnt out infernos. Luckily, this time the queen's kind of on the outside. She's only level 12, though. So let's see. Is there any area that we can not deploy our barbarians and our archers? I mean, uh, it would, yeah, let's just go ahead and just spam them as usual because there's kind of loot all over the place. So, barbarians down, doing our nice tanking. Archers down as quickly as possible. Here we are, archers down. Let's get it. All right, now, the idea is that we get at... Oh, <laughs> hey, Alex Rodriguez with a $2 holla. Thank you, Alex, for that. And um, you know what? Every single drop in the bucket counts toward that laptop. So thank you very much. Let's get some more donation hype in the chat for Alex Rodriguez um, for, for just coming in the clutch. Now, we've got our barbarians and our archers down. Our archers are dying out now. And we're definitely going to have to use our queen very skillfully to get some more loot. Looks like the most elixir left is in this collector. We've also got a ton of dark elixir. So I think for this attack, since we're guaranteed to lose, we're not going to win this attack, is I'm going to use my queen. And hopefully what she'll do is she will go, uh, she'll go, I'm going to target the cannon first. And then, oh man, this, um, this wizard tower is going to ruin this, I think. I was going to say we're going to get our queen to get the cannon, the elixir collector, and then this collector over here by walking this direction. But I don't think it's going to happen because I think the queen's going to go toward the wizard tower instead. But let's just see what happens. Queen down on the cannon. You want to target the cannon first. That way it doesn't do DPS on you the whole time. Then she's going to walk up. She's going to get this pretty much full elixir collector, which is amazing. And then she's going to turn around. She's going to come at this. And she might actually get, you know what? She might actually do me a favor and come around and get this elixir collector out of here. So that actually worked out pretty well. I'm going to pop my ability now because of that cannon. She's going to get the mortar, the elixir collector. And then let's use our lightning spells on the uh, dark elixir drill. So that's two on each. I'll save one. Actually, I'm going to use the last one on the elixir collector here. And then 
Let's cut out. The queen died, unfortunately, but that was a that was a very beneficial lightning spells. And look, oh my goodness, guys. Holy moly. Look at the loot hype. Oh my goodness. 486,000 elixir on a lost attack, a defeated attack, 49%. The queen died just just before, if we would have, actually, we did use all five of our lightning spells. That's a bummer. Okay, well, half a million likes here. Gorgeous loot. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Loot hype in the chat. And, um, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. The barch is coming. Let's request for troops, even though I never get them. And, again, guys, we were using lightning spells because they were discounted for the special event, the electric wizard that went off yesterday. So, now they're back to 22,000 elixir. That's too much. I'm not going to do it. So, uh, we got a couple of minutes remaining before our barch is ready to go and up and running. So, let's check out what you guys have going on in the chat. Guys, oh, my goodness. Hey, Klaus, why don't you give gift cards for fun? Yo, Gesh, I would love to but I'm not quite successful enough at YouTube to do that um, and not suffer financially. I do have to, you know, buy groceries and stuff. So we'll get there. I am giving away gift cards on my Twitter, though. It's a monthly giveaway, so definitely go follow me on Twitter. Also, guys, for those of you that are curious about why everyone's typing rank in the, um, in, the in the chat, it's because the more watch time you get, the more... Uh, Basically, the more coins you get, and whoever ends up with the most coins at the end of July will also get a giveaway. So, you can check your rank by typing exc exclamation point rank, but if you just started, I mean, there's guys out here now that have like eight hours of watch time already, so special shout out to them, but... Um, yeah, so you can get that giveaway either by having the most watch summons on these streams or you can uh, go retweet my pinned tweet and follow me on Twitter and you'll enter the giveaway for the July giveaway. All right, guys. So wait, wait, whoa. Was that Cam? Cam in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He just said Klaus OP. I saw it. I saw you. <laughs> That's good to see you, Cam. Thanks for being here. All right, guys. So we got how long? We got about two and a half minutes before our army is ready to go. I'm seeing so much chat right now. You guys are going nuts. Uh, just Young Birch, what's going on, Klaus? Cool. Dude, it is good, man. It is good. Thank you for being here. Thanks, everybody, for being here for this Fix That Rush series. If you are new to the channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and join the Klaus family because, obviously, this is the place to be. Daily Clash of Clans content and having some fun, doing some streams. I've been enjoying streaming lately. It's been a lot of fun. And, um, honestly, the most fun I have on the channel nowadays is streaming. So, oh, yeah, it is good. Klaus, why is donating in Israel unavailable? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. I do know that if you follow the link in the video description for donating through Streamlabs, I think it's more available for you. Um, so, and, and, and if, if it's if it's unavailable for people in Israel, I I don't know. I, I have no, no control over that. Um, yeah. Klaus, you're, yeah, yeah, so Cam is modded right now. He is a moderator. So, you know, he is the real deal. That is the real Cam. Uh, Cam's the boss, guys. Everyone go check out uh, Clash with Cam. He's a beast. He's an absolute boss. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, so we've got how long? We got uh, we got a minute and a half before we can go back out for our Barch and Chill, guys. I love these streams. I love these videos, the Barch and Chill streams, because they're literally just chilling. Like I'm hanging out with the clan, with the with the fam, the Klaus family, just chilling. I love it. And um, all all I can say, guys, is that. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all are y'all are absolute bosses. Um, y'all are amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm not that again. I bet a million dollars class won't see this. Well, I saw it, so you owe me a million dollars. I'm pretty sure now that overall people owe me billions because every time someone says that, I seem to see it for some reason. <laughs> Do you not get annoyed with troops? The the troops training sound. I actually don't. It doesn't bother me. Um, I've got 40 seconds remaining before I can go back out on the warpath and look Justin Rogers coming in the clutch with yet another donation the $5 holla now I can't add it to the MVP total because Alex Rodriguez came in uh, Between you, but either way, let's get some donation hype in the chat from for Justin Rogers um, He is the MVP currently with a $12 donation back-to-back -back donations 10 and 12. Thank you very much every dollar going toward a new laptop, of course, trying to make content on the road. It's all for you guys. It's all for the channel. Uh, so special thank you to all of y'all. Um, yeah, it's awesome, guys. We got five sec. Oh, wait, wait, six. We got five seconds now remaining before we can go back onto the war path. Let's get it going, guys. This rushed, this rushed account needs some help, and I am definitely willing to help it. Um, man, it's going to be good. How do I see my rank? I think I just answered that. Uh, I don't. If I didn't, my apologies. But you type in ex 
exclamation point rank. I can't say that word. Exclamation point. I'm having such a hard time with that today. Uh, but you type that in. The top watch time at the end of the month will get a giveaway. So I recommend that you subscribe. Hit the notifications. Follow me on Twitter. That way you don't miss any streams. All right, guys. So here's yet another. Holy moly. Another dead 10 on 10. Like this is, this is an amazing place to be, guys. This is an amazing place to be. I see some easy snipeable buildings here. Look at that. We're going to snipe an expo. How amazing is that? The expo, guys, we're going to wreck that expo. I'm going to steal some of the free loot on the outside of this base on the corners. And then we're going to deploy our barch and get it going, guys. Get it going. It's going to be amazing. We got our archers on the outside corners. Once the archers wipe out the outside corner buildings, then I'll go ahead and deploy my barge because I don't want them to get busy and get, you know, like clump up. I want them to stay nice and spread out. So... I think the left, the, the bottom of the left I've already dropped. The top's going to take a while. The one on the right, we got time. The good thing about Barch, guys, is you can kind of be, you can be, you can be, uh, what's a good way to put it? You can be patient whenever you're using Barch because it does not take very long for the attack to, to happen. Uh, come on, little Betty, let's go. I'm going to put two just to help her out. The Expos, even though this is level one Expo, has very high HP. So it's taking this girl a long time. Now that the Expo has exploded, let's get it going, guys. Let's go. All right, Barbarian's down. Very nice. Let's get our archers down as well. We'll definitely have to snipe some loot with our queen uh, because these Barbarians are definitely not going to do much and the archers are going to get destroyed by mortars. So let's just see where we end up with or what we end up with, guys. Oh, man, it's going to be good. Let's, let's see. I see a lot of Elixir right here, and you guys know I love that Elixir when we're trying to fix this rush to count. We see a lot of Elixir on this side as well. We got a little bit on this side. Look at that. Look at that archer. Get it. No, no, no. Mortar. No. What a punk. Okay, so I think I think this side's probably the most beneficial for our queen. Do we have any dark elixir drills that I missed for some reason? No, I think the dark elixir's all in the middle. Okay, so I think, oh, actually, yeah, this one's actually more full. I'm going to use my queen. We're going to take out this archer tower, and then we're going to get rid of this. Wow, that was a one shot. That was pretty baller. We're going to get this elixir collector, and then hopefully we can also snag the 50% with our queen because there's no, ah, oh, man, I was going to say there's no point defense on the queen. So let's uh, use the ability now. She's going to get the gold storage. She's going to get the mortar. That's 50% and then let's close out because we don't want to lose the queen and the loot guys some barch and chill loot over 350,000 gold and elixir and over 3300 dark elixir beautiful raid guys the queen coming in the clutch I love it absolutely love it now the barch is usually a lot faster did I did I go in before I used up all my archers or did I not lay down all my archers that's weird okay so um, normally barch is a lot faster but I do have this barracks that's upgrading here so oh wait wait do I want to I don't have enough gems what no I don't I have 600 gems what the heck um Where's this barracks at? It's a six-day upgrade. Yeah, that's going to take a long... That's going to take 885 gems to gem it if we wanted to. I'm not going to gem it. Uh, but yeah, hey, hey, you know what? Upgrading this barracks is good because it's going to unlock the miner. And that'll unlock some stuff for us to do in the lab. Of course, today, normally, the focus of these Fix That Rush episodes is upgrading... Uh, something in the lab, but not this time. Not this time. This time, it's going to be... Not, not, not even the queen, I doubt it. I mean, we have 50,000 Dark Elixir almost, and the uh, the queen upgrade is going to take 80,000. So we're probably not going to even upgrade the queen today. The the I'm going to say the priority for today are walls. That's going to be a lot of gold. We'll use the Elixir on something, probably a, a barracks or something. If we go into our progress base, most of you already know this, but if you do not, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget that. But this is a progress base. Everything that's maxed is on the top left-hand side. Everything that's not maxed is on the bottom right-hand side. You can see we have a lot of work to do before we fix this rush to count. I'm attempting to get all of my walls to level 8 before uh, we start really getting into the defenses because level 9 walls can be upgraded with both gold and elixir. Well, obviously level 8... Um, only, only gold, so that's not good. So we're, we're kind of upgrading stuff as we go. We're trying to get these barracks and a dark barracks upgraded. I would love, I would love to unlock the bowlers. Not necessarily because I'm going to use them for farming, but because I like bowlers. Uh, so we'll just see, guys. We'll see how much loot we end up with at the end. It's going to be awesome. Now let's kick back over. How much time do we have left? We get three minutes, two and a half minutes before we can go back out on the war path there. I hate the wait, but it's necessary. You guys understand it as we are Barching and boosting together, guys. What I'd like to know right now, instead of reading rank over and over again in the chat, which is driving me nuts, one thing that I would like to ask is if you are, um, 
Yeah, if you are going to be boosting with me, or if you're boosting with me now, what army composition are you using and what town hall level are you? Let me know in the chat right now while I um, at a look into what we're going to be doing here in a moment. I'm, I'm really, I'm actually very curious. What's the cheapest upgrade? Um, the cheapest gold upgrades still 2 million gold. So we'll probably be doing at least one or two. Actually, we can't do that today. What am I thinking? I've only got one builder. Um, the cheapest elixir upgrade is 2.75 million elixir. So that's kind of a big deal too. All right, farm, my farm internet's not doing so well. I'm trying my best, guys. I really am. I've got the best internet that I can handle out here. I'm about 10 miles away from the closest town. So, yeah, my internet is doing its best. It really is. It struggles sometimes, but it's doing its best. Everybody's saying Looney, and I'm seeing Barch, Goiva, nice. Giants, Barbarians, and Archers, Goblin Knife, nice, nice. Gobo Wee, Town Hall 11, nice, I like it. What happened to the music? Uh, we're using the game sounds right now because uh, because uh, copyright music, non-copyright music is still tricky. So I just don't deal with music during the streams. Barch, nice, nice. Who has the most watch time? Hey, Ray Vernon, what's going on, my man? Probably you, actually. <laughs> Ray Vernon in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He is a regular. He's always here. He is awesome. Hello, hello. What's going on, Alex? How you doing? All right, guys, we got 50 seconds to go before the next Barch is ready. It is actually surprisingly uh, taking a while for these these armors to come up. 28 minutes per army. Divide that by four. That's like six and a half minutes. But because we, we are running on uh, three-fourths of the capacity or the speed, it's probably taking more like eight minutes. So if we search, uh, if we don't search long enough, it's going to take a long time just sitting here. But we can just read comments. It's all good. Having fun with it. The exc exclamation point rank stuff's driving me nuts, guys. I might, I might turn that off. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Does your wife play Clash of Clans? Good question, Jayton Kumar. Um, my wife does not play Clash of Clans. She, uh, she doesn't play any games. Actually, she's she's quite busy in her real life for sure. Quite busy. Kind of late using Go Wipe, Maddie. What's going on, man? Um, is Go Wipe a good farming strategy for you? I, I the way I understand it, it's very expensive, so I don't like using Go Wipe. But if it's working, that's great. Also, it's not a three-star strategy, so I stay away from it in war. But uh, again, I'm curious to see how Go Wipe does for you. Also, in uh, are you trophy pushing? I know uh, Go Wipe's pretty good for trophy pushing. Curious. I'm curious. Hopefully, I see your 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 comment here in a few seconds here. All right, guys, so we have a barge ready to go. Let's see what kind of loot we can find today. Having a blast. I love it. Klaus, I love your Max Queen troll video. Oh, that was so bad. It was not meant to be a troll video. I actually legit wanted to go out with my Max Queen walk, and I wanted to, to tear some bases up, and I just had terrible luck. So it ended up being like a parody, like a troll video instead, which is still fun, but just not what I was expecting, if you know what I mean. What is, uh, hey, what is the best war attack of 1009? MSMD. MSMD. Check it out on my channel, the guides playlist. It's the best 1009 attack you can find for war. You still look like Chief Pat. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't expect to change what I look like, you know? I still look normal. Do I have a wife? Yes, I just mentioned that. I have a wife. She's wonderful. Do you remember me? Bush hype. Yes, I love it. Bush hype. <laughs> oh man, who, who who said that? I read it and didn't say it. Ruben Vlay, what's going on, my man? Yeah, Ruben in the house with the bush hype. <laughs> love it. I love it. The more the more I stream, the more fun it gets, guys. It really does. Oh man, I wish I could stream every day. I really do. Stream is lagging today. It's actually working. It's actually looking great on my end, guys. So if you're having some lag, some bad connection, uh, you know, just just reset the stream. And reload it because it's, it looks good on my end. Because I have a little health bar. Kind of tells me how good things are looking and things are looking good for me. Looking for another dead tunnel 10, guys. Oh my goodness. What? As soon as I mention it, loot hype in the chat. Actually, no, no, no. Not loot hype. We need to see some dead base hype. Okay? Dead base hype in Crystal League. 
Holy cow. And this base will be difficult uh, because there are lots of good loot in the middle of the base, but this barch obviously is good for skirting the outside. So let's just, let's get all that we can and go from there. I've got some giants that are going to help us out here in a moment. So let's, let's use our barch first and we're going to put our barbarians down and strongly on the top and on the bottom. So there we go. Let's put down our arches as well. Loot hype, dead base hype in the chat. Booyah. Get it. All right, let's, uh, I was going to say poison spell the enemy queen, but she's already killed everybody, so that's not good. Let's put, let me see, let's put the clan castle max giants down now. I'm going to use these giants to hopefully get through the wall. That's the ideal thing. If we can get through the wall, because what I want is my queen to get into this compartment. There's a lots of elixir right there. Also, if we can get lucky, we'll get in and we'll take out the Dark Elixir way off into the into the sunset there. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The Giants do some major work the, through the wall, so let's put our Queen down now. Uh, there's not a whole lot of evil things targeting our, our Giants now. Now there is. This Arch Tower is doing tons of work. Point defense. Uh, but let's just see. If we can get at least one of those Elixir Collectors in the middle, I will be happy. Also, guys, look at that. We had some... We, had a, we have an Archer. Get some Archer. And it's, it's inside... Okay, I was about to say... I was about to say this archer's inside the dead zone of that mortar, but nope, nope, nope. That's a bummer. Oh man, but we did we did good. The barch actually did really really well getting the elixir out of the out of the outside. Now the elixir grabbing happening from the queen. We're gonna need her ability now because of that archer tower. So if we can wipe out this archer tower and then if she could step up and go to the right, that'd be wonderful. There's a Tesla. Yeah, Tesla's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get up for the queen dies. Look at the loot, guys. 350,000 elixir. That's what it came here for. Dark elixir, not so good. I kind of wish I had some cheaper lightning spells, but I don't. That's just not what we were blessed with today. So, not too bad, guys. The loot was okay. Definitely didn't get the dark elixir I wanted, but the best part about Barch is, honestly, every single drop of dark elixir you grab is is, is profit, and it only costs 90,000 elixir, so all the elixir pretty much is profit. So, that was not bad, guys. That was not bad at all. Let's request for troops. Let's, uh, we got, what, three... 4, 8, 12. So we got three minutes, yeah, before we can uh, we can go back out. So let's check out the chat once again, guys. Yes, yeah, so the Queen's Rage and is invisible. So whenever you pop the Queen's ability, guys, she, it's called the Royal Cloak. She's cloaked, so she's invisible. And so she's able to shoot stuff and nothing sees her. Also, because she is raged, she does more damage during that time as well. So her ability is extremely powerful. And it gets better every five upgrades. So, like, for instance, if you're level five, she gets her first queen ability, royal cloak ability, then 10, then 15, then 20. That's why I generally upgrade the queen in five. So, she'll, so right now she's uh, level 15. Uh, so, now the king's going to 15. Then I'll take the queen to 20. And then I'll take the king to 20. That way, you can take advantage of the special abilities er as early as possible. Especially the queen, because I do enjoy my queen walks. So, Yeah. Wait, I saw a question. I saw a question I wanted. Klaus, is this your first time live streaming? Absolutely not, Steve. Go definitely check out the streams playlist. I think this is, what, number 10 or something, guys? Uh, man. Yeah, yeah. So I've done I've done multiple streams. I've had a blast streaming and definitely will continue to improve, hopefully, the stream experience for you guys as we enjoy the time doing so. Um, you know? Yeah, so definitely, if you are a new viewer, definitely hit that subscribe button because we do stream at least, it seems like it's at least two times a uh, a week, sometimes three or four, and obviously, obviously, daily Clash of Clans videos as well. How do you stream? Oh, that's a Google search, my man. I am not Google, and I'm definitely no technical genius, so if I tried to explain it, it wouldn't make any sense. Definitely Google it. Can you turn off the rank feature in chat? Spamming is present right now. Absolutely. It's kind of driving me nuts, guys. Um, if it doesn't, if, if you don't calm down with the, the exclamation point rank feature, I'm going to turn it off because it is annoying me too. I know you won't read this, but you're my favorite YouTuber. Sean Woods. I read it. Thank you for, thank you for that. You're amazing. Mitchell Bont, how are you? I am doing wonderful, my man. Thanks for asking. How are you? Actually, during this last 40 seconds, I'm definitely going to turn off that, that command because that's driving me nuts. Ugh. All 
All right, exclamation point rank is disabled. You guys are driving me nuts with all the spam. So there you go, it's gone now. All right, so, or at least it should be gone. So now guys, we've got 15 seconds to go before we go back out, get some more loot, fixing this rushed account guys. This is my wonderful friend Archimedes for anybody that is new. He has been, uh, he's been through a lot. This is episode number 37. And whenever we first got him, he only had level two, ki uh, level two king. He had no queen and he was tunnel 10 with like pink walls. So it was bad. My friend gave me this account and we've been working on it ever since. It's been really fun. And I know that a lot of people have fallen victim to rushing on accident or on purpose. If you did it on purpose, Shame on you, but if it's an accident, I understand and uh, you know There's a lot of ways to fix it if you're wanting to know more detail on how to fix a rushed account Definitely check out the first episodes of this series and our fix that rush guide that is in the guides playlist now guys Let's go back out. We've got our barch ready to roll. Let's do it Klaus, turn off slow mode. I am not gonna turn off slow mode, man. It is already hard to keep up with the chat. Um, it'll be awful if I take off slow mode. So I'm gonna leave it on. That's uh, that's gonna stay. Ooh. Oh man, I saw that. I saw this. This is what I saw. The dark elixir in the storage. Forgot for a moment that I was sitting on barch. There's no way we can get inside that base and grab that dark elixir out of the storage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a full barch army. Now we're just gonna start searching. We're gonna find some loot. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see how we do. And by the way, just a special shout out. But did you see that engineered base? That was terrible. Um, so a special shout out once again to the MVP of the evening so far. It is Justin Rogers with a twelve dollar donation. Anybody that can top that will end up being the MVP and have their name specifically shouted out and um, you know put in yellow letters above my head. Thank you again, Justin Rogers, for that. Uh, donation hype. Every single dollar that is donated goes toward a new laptop, which uh, I desperately need. So, let's see. Last time, I was thinking this. Last time, I mentioned all we need is a rushed Tunnel 10. Or a dead Tunnel 10. Both would be fine. Nope, that's not what we need. Come on. Dead Tunnel 10. Loot. Nope. One more time. Come on. Dead Tunnel 10. Darn it. Okay. We'll, we'll get it. Don't you worry, guys. Barch and chill. Actually, whoa. 479,000 gold. The, the elixir's not so great, but the gold is amazing. Dark elixir's pretty good, too. We're not going to get all the loot today because a lot of dark elixir's in the middle, but guys, we need some loot hype in the chat. This is nice. It's not a dead base, but it's an uncollected base, so let's just have some fun with it. First of all, we'll barbarian. That's a word. We're going to barbarian the uh, the corner buildings, and then we're going to deploy our barch and wrap up this base very nicely. I'm very excited about it. Here we go. Barbarian's down. Tons of gold in this base, guys. 479,000 gold. I, again, would love to grab all that, but I know I won't. We'll just see. Barbarians and archers down. Let's hold on to our queen just to see where she is most needed. And it looks pretty apparent that she's going to be most needed to grab gold out of the storages. So let's grab the gold out of um, either this storage because it's easy, or if we get lucky, we'll be able to grab another storage that's more... Damaged. There we go. Okay, so let's use the queen on this storage up here because I know nothing touched it. We're going to get a lot of gold this this attack. And look at that queen. Oh, wow. It takes tons of hits to kill these, these giants. Holy moly. There we go. Giants are down. Pop the queen's ability. She's going to grab this, uh, this storage. Get it, son? Yeah. All right. And that was the loot. 300,000 plus the loot bonus gold. 250, 280,000 elixir and 1,300 dark elixir. All profit plus 11 cups. Not too shabby, guys. We didn't lose the attack because Barch generally gets the 50%. This kind of depends on the base. So not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Definitely looking to get gold so that we can finish up these level 7 walls because they're awful. You know what I mean? It's awful. Uh, and we need we need to definitely get to all gold. So the theory, guys, let me put you through this if you have not uh, ever seen our series or our channel before. The idea right now, guys, is that we had probably a an unmaxed Town Hall 8 rush to Town Hall 10. I had level 8, like Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8 level troops. And also our walls were terrible. So what we're doing is we're kind of Upgrading our base for each Town Hall level. I'm trying to get to Max Tunnel 8 level, and then Max Tunnel 9 level, and then we'll no longer be considered rushed. At that point, we'll just be working on maxing a Town Hall 10 base. 
So, right now, we're trying to get our walls to level 8 and also all of our defenses to level 8. The walls indicate how many levels that building needs to go before it's maxed for tunnel 8. So, for instance, the cannons are maxed at level 10. These archer towers need to go to level 10 as well. So, they have one wall in front of them, meaning they have one wall left. So, we have a lot of work left before we're maxed tunnel 8, before we go to tunnel 9. And also, guys, once we do get go to town hall 9... Um, we're going to be able to put down Expos because our hero is a pretty high level. We can three-star bases, maybe, <laughs> that have Expos. Never, here's a good quote for y'all. You've probably heard it before. If you can't three it, don't build it. Especially if you're a war player. Keep that in mind. All right, so back out to our defensive base. We got uh, just over two minutes before we can go back out. Let's check out what you've got going in the chat today. Actually, this count is a bit engineered. Actually, yeah, you're right. So TNT, 1404, definitely makes a, a good uh, mention. a good thing. So rushed accounts, by definition, are just uh, accounts that don't have maxed offense for the previous Town Hall level. So for instance, this is a Town Hall 10. The previous Town Hall, Town Hall 9 would have max level 30 heroes. My heroes are not max level 30, so it is rushed, but also engineered because I didn't put in all the defenses. So if you're both rushed and engineered, you're just considered rushed. That's uh, that's the way the definitions work. I've got a good video explaining all that in the... I think it's in the guides playlist. It might not be. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it is kind of engineered, too. I don't support engineering. That's why I want to put... As soon as I get to Max Down Light, I will be putting in Expos. And then once I get to Max Down Light, I will be putting in Furnos. Because I, I just don't want to set a bad example. That's the main thing, guys. Uh, this is hashtag real talk for me right now. I don't want to set a bad example. My base does not deserve Infernos, okay? I'm a Town Hall 10, but my base does not deserve Inferno Towers. My base deserves Expos, but not yet, because the defense is a too low level. Fortunately for me, I've had enough time to where I've actually maxed out the majority of my farming troops, so it makes farming easier. But whenever I first started... The Barbarians and the Archers were like Town Hall 7 level, which was awful. It was so bad. Watch the first few episodes of the series if you're interested, because that was bad. All right, guys, we're, what, 45 seconds from being able to go back out, so very excited about that. Thank you guys, as always, for being here. It's always a pleasure being able to enjoy some farming with you, some Barch and Chill, as we enjoy some Barbarians and Archers. My specific army composition for Barch is 120 Barbarians, 120 Archers. And um, we just go out, 90,000 elixir cost. It makes a it makes a good splash on these bases sometimes. It's enjoyable to use. Now, while I am on the subject, while I'm thinking about it at least, guys, be sure and follow me on Twitter. That way you don't miss any streams. As well as if you're a new a viewer, thank you for being here. Be sure and subscribe and smack that notification, the bell thing. That way you don't miss any streams either. Thank you all for being here. Daily Clash of Clans content. And we stream. What's the schedule now, guys? Um, the schedule right now is Tuesdays and Fridays at noon Central Standard Time, which is negative 6 of the UK. So if you're in the United Kingdom, that is 6 p.m. Um, while it is noon for me. So that, that's a good way for you to figure out what time for your local time. And um, what time would that be? 10 o'clock in the morning on the West Coast in like California and 1 o'clock in the uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon in like New York, New York, uh, Florida. So there you go. Tuesdays and Fridays. Every single Friday we do Fix Out Rush. This happened to be Tuesday. And then yesterday's random stream on Monday was just because I felt like it. So I, I do hold the right to stream whenever I want to. That's why I highly recommend that you follow me on Twitter and smack the subscribe and notify and everything because uh, then you can take part in these randoms, the, the random streams like yesterday. Now, guys, we have ourselves a full barge. I'm searching for bases right now. Definitely looking for more of them dead tunnel tents. That'd be nice. Uh, but, you know, we have no control over what exactly we find. Um, I wish we could, though. There, I, I've heard some stories about people that are able to find bases a lot better than others. I think that's called luck. <laughs> and generally, I'm pretty lucky. But yesterday, I wasn't on the stream. Today, I hope that I am as well. We've had some pretty decent luck with dead bases, but it just takes some, some time searching. Fortunately for us, I guess it's fortunate that because we're upgrading a barracks, the, uh, the fact is, it takes a while for these Barch armies to be done, so I guess I'd rather be sitting here searching, looking at bases, making fun of bases like this. Oh my goodness, this is a rushed base so bad. That's such a rushed base. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are level, what are these, like level four? <laughs> That's so bad, guys, those walls. Oh man. 
I have the right to make fun of rush bases. I have experienced it for myself. Um, and I've fixed one, sort of, so, um, I have the right to make fun of rush bases. Oh, my goodness, guys. So, so far, and this is what I like about Gold League and Crystal League, is that you do find dead bases. The bases are easier. You know, it's good. I enjoy this. I really do enjoy it. And I actually, um, for the most part, it's relaxing. I, I do go through my, oh, well, oh, oh, oh. Loot hype in the chat right now, guys. Another dead base. Dead base hype if you want. Town Hall 10, dead base, burnt out Inferno Tower. And looks like all the loot besides one collector is on the bottom. So let's uh let's be and on the left. So let's be a little more, a little bit more strategic, I guess, if you want to go there. Let's be a little bit more strategic, guys. And let's put down our barbarians and our archers on the bottom and on the sides instead of the top. So let's put down here this two finger deployment on both uh, both the left and the right. There's our barbarians very nicely. And then there's our archers. We're definitely hoping that these troops can wipe out the enemy queen that's right there. Get it. Kill her. Nice. All right. And are we going to get the loot? That would be wonderful. Look at these. Uh, look at these. Oh, barbarians OP. Get it. Okay, now the archers. Archers, get it. Hooray. Nice. All right. So I think... I think we have successfully grabbed all the collectors in the mines in this base, aside from one elixir collector that is on the north. So let's use our queen. Wait, 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 wait. That would be, it would be awesome, guys, if we got the 50%. No, we're not going to get the 50. Okay, so we definitely need the queen to get the 50. So let's deploy the clan castle to distract that archer tower. Let's put the queen down. This will definitely guarantee the 50%. Uh, the it will also grab all the elixir in the base. And there's a lot of percentage right here. I mean, these, uh, these what are they called? Builder huts. Very low in HP. Very easy to wipe out. Look at that. Elixir collector down. Wow, Teslas. Woo. Dang, that's dangerous stuff right there. Luckily, I have the... Luckily, I have the Giants, otherwise we definitely would have lost the attack. Now, guys, let's just accumulate percentage. Just loot bonus. Um, as soon as those Giants die out, we'll pop the Queen's ability, and then we'll cut out before she takes damage. Because I definitely don't want her to her die, her to die. Um, that's always a bad idea. So, she's taking damage. Let's pop the ability, and let's cut out before she deals with that King. So, there we go, guys. Loot hype. 400,000 Golden Elixir and 2,300 Dark Elixir. Pretty much all profit. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous stuff. I love that barge on these dead bases in Crystal League. You can't get any better than that, guys. If it doesn't really matter. If you tunnel 8, Gold League's great. Tunnel 9, Gold League, Crystal League. If you tunnel 10, probably Crystal League and Master League would be the better places for you. But if you're rushed like I am and you're struggling to just stay alive, then uh, Gold League, Crystal League works for you no matter what. Now, if you're a rush Town Hall 11, I honestly don't know. I've never been one. But I still recommend probably Crystal League and uh, Master League for you. Tunnel 11s, if you're rushed... I can't imagine how hard that would be. The, the the problem with rushing, guys, is that if you don't max your troops in your laboratory, you're going to struggle. You just you just are. If, you're, if you didn't max your heroes, you're going to struggle. Because um, you, the, the troops... It, it, what's the best way to put it? If you have low-level troops, you can't hit strong bases. And if you're Town Hall 11, the loot penalty to hit a Town Hall 9 is 50%. Town Hall 9s aren't weak. So... Oh yeah, you definitely, uh, for those of you that are watching right now, and we're, I think we're at, we're at 1162 watchers, if, if my numbers are correct right there. All of you listen, if you are considering upgrading your town hall, check your lab first, make sure it's done. Check your heroes first, make sure it's done before you go to the next town hall level, because that is the main thing to survive in this game, especially town hall 10, especially town hall 11. If you rush to, to town hall 9, you can survive. If you rush to town hall 8, you can survive. But Tunnel 10 and 11, those Inferno Towers, Eagle Artillery, makes it so difficult. Absolutely do not recommend rushing at all, but especially Tunnel 10 and 11. Now, guys, we got a couple of minutes before the barge is ready to roll. Um, yeah, yeah, a minute and a half before we're good to go. How is the chat looking today, guys? What level should the heroes be at Tunnel 9 before going to Tunnel 10? Tia, Tia 7. Listen, Tunnel 9 to Tunnel 10 is one of the hardest leaps in the game. Town Hall 10 is statistically more difficult than Town Hall 11. So, you definitely want to max out your heroes at Town Hall 9. Max level for Town Hall 9 is level 30. It takes a long time. You're going to be Town Hall 9 for a very long time. But it is highly recommended. Highly recommended. This series, this Fix That Rush series, is meant to show you how hard it is to fix a rushed account. I mean, I've been barching. How long? For those of you that have been around a while, how long have I been barching this account? 37 episodes, typically one per week. I mean, we're getting we're getting close to a year, guys. Goodness. 
<laughs> We're getting close to barching this base for a year, and I still have purple walls on my base. This is how frustrating this rushing stuff is. So I, I don't recommend rushing. That's the bottom line. That is what I'm talking about. Now we got 30 seconds remaining before we can go back out. Let's check out another question. Klaus, what state do you live in? Zeven, what's up, my man? I like your name, Zeven. I am from Texas. I'm a Texas boy down in the south, living on a farm. Internet doesn't work all the time, but it's been good today. The drop rate's under 1%, so we're, we're doing good. Almost a year, troop subscriber, Deuce Nation. What is up, my man? Oh man, over a year, guys. We've been at we've been at it for YouTube for how long? How long? Uh, we started in November 2015. This is June, so we're getting we're getting close to two years on YouTube. And uh, for those of you that have been around a while, thank y'all. For those of you that are new subscribers, thank you. And if you're just watching for the first time and just giving us a try, thank you, everybody. Y'all are amazing. Everybody that's watching right now, absolutely love it. Thank you very much for being here. Now, guys, our barge is ready. We've got some clan castle troops. That is another dead rushed as poop. Rushed as poop town hall 10. Oh my goodness. This is like almost as bad as what we were in episode one. We were worse than this, guys. Can you believe it? We were worse than this at and and at town at uh episode one. Because this base actually has a queen. My base didn't have a queen. Um, I would love to hit this base. Golden Elixir is great, but the dark elixir is not. So we're gonna skip. We are gonna skip that base. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to. Oh, uh, guys, it is good to see everybody here today. I'm seeing a lot of familiar, uh, not faces, <laughs> some familiar names. Um, and wow, that base had tons of loot, but it was a lot of it in the center of the base. You obviously want to be very, um, you want to be very selective about the bases that you hit, um, you know, with Barch. If we were using Lunian, and I'm considering that for the second half of this of this stream, if we do two hours, um, considering doing Lunian, if we do do Lunian, then we'll be able to hit those kind of bases a little bit more. What's another strategy? Hey, for those, while we're searching, guys, put in the chat a, a strategy you'd like to see me try. If I see one that is overwhelming uh, as a majority, then I will definitely check it out. I will definitely try it out tonight or today. I say I keep saying tonight, I guess because I know that for a lot of y'all that are in maybe Europe or Asia, I know that it is late, but for me, it is just, uh, just before 1 p.m. in the afternoon, 13 o'clock for those of you in Europe and Asia. Uh... Anyway, let's see. Goblin knife, goblin knife, goblin knife. Listen, guys, goblin knife does not work at 10 all 10 because of infernos. Whoa. This base, we need loot hype in the chat. I'm seeing all golems. No. All giants. No. <laughs> Lava loon. Lava loon's great, but I like loonian better for farming. Queen walk, I like that. Lava drag loon, that's too expensive. Go vape. That's decent, I guess. Too expensive again. I, I don't like farming with, with expensive stuff. If you have 25, 25 here, should go to tunnel 10? No. Tunnel 9 to 10 is difficult. Look at this base, guys. We need some loot hype with over half a million gold and elixir. Let's snipe some ba some loot first. Actually, a lot of the loot is on the outside. That's not so bad. Let's just have fun with this, all right? Let's have fun. Our Barons and Archer, we're definitely going to lose this attack because the defenses are pretty good. The walls are very good as well. But the Archers are going to snag tons of loot. And then, obviously, our Queen will too. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Barch. Yeah. Guys, we're getting tons of loot right now. The elixir is in two different spots. We got one on the far right hand side up here, and then we got another one on the north. And this northern our, this northern uh, elixir collector is, is full. So uh, let's definitely deploy a queen into that hole where these barbarians broke into. That is going to give us access to the elixir collector. And I guess I will hold on to. My giants in the clan castle. We're going to pop our ability. Hopefully the queen gets to... I'm going to drop... I'm going to deploy these giants, actually. Hopefully it... Uh, oh, man. All right. Well... Uh oh kill, kill kill, the archer tower. Come on! Come on! Oh! No! <laughs> we wasted our giants. The queen died. We didn't get the elixir out of this collector. And I know that the giants are not going to get anywhere near it because giants don't care about loot. They only care about defenses, and they're getting wrecked right now by that wizard tower. Terrible. That was a hashtag Betty fail right now, okay? That, that is bad. That was a class fail. That was a Betty fail. 
Oh man, I should have deployed my giants before my queen. That was bad. But hey, still 279,000 elixir, so not too bad. I could have asked for a better raid, obviously, but I got that instead. So not too bad. Um, you know what? I'll accept it. I'll take it. Anytime you fail, guys, and listen, this is life. This is life talk. Real life. Real talk. Um, anytime you fail, just get up and keep going. You know, if you're trophy pushing, get mad, turn the game off for a second, come back and try it again. It's all good. You will survive, I promise. You will survive! I don't know. Alright, so our barge is down. Now what? Now what? We have a couple of minutes. Let's check out the chat, see how we're doing. What is that? Oh, yes! Supremes1313 with the MVP donation of the day, guys. $20 donation. I didn't catch that. Let's let's read the message here. Watching your fix that rush series is one of the reasons why I am able to fix my tunnel 10. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Let's get some donation hype in the chat for Supremes1313. Also, also he says, I also have a tunnel 8 that isn't rushed. GG, nicely done. I won't make that mistake again. Thanks so much. Supreme, Supreme donation hype. Thank you so much. Justin Rogers has now on, um, unfortunately lost the uh, the title of the MVP. It now belongs to Supremes with that $20 super chat donation. Thank you, Supremes. You're absolutely amazing. Now you are featured up above my head. Thank you very much, my friend. And again, guys, all donations going toward a laptop so that I can make content on the road as I travel uh, because it's difficult to make content here at my office all the time. So again, thank you, Supremes. You're amazing. Now, guys, we've got some uh, some troops training up. Unfortunately, this stinking barracks upgrading is taking, making these bar these barch um, taking a long time, but it is worth it still because you know what? I actually don't mind. I actually don't mind the uh, the time that it takes for these things to happen because I'm able to kick back and talk with you guys. So what is going on, guys? Do I have a car? Grand Wizard. Yes, I do have a car. Um, I'm thinking something simple for 100,000 subs when and if we ever hit that. Um, it, it looks like we will eventually. But when we do hit 100,000, I might want to uh, to do something like a, uh, I don't know, a uh, car reveal or something. I mean, it's not super, it's like it's not like sports car. It is a normal car. It's a nice car. It's not bad. Uh, but I might do something like that. How do you donate? Uh, type in exclamation point donate into the chat. It'll give you a link. Or if you were on an Android device, like a uh, like an Android phone or or tablet or whatever, you should have the super chat button. Um, I think that's assuming you're on the YouTube gaming app. I'm not entirely sure about that. But the link will work for anybody no matter what. So that's something. Also, if you don't want to type that into the chat or can't for whatever reason, then there's a link down below in the video description. The first link in the video description will send you to the donation uh, website as well. Wow, guys. <laughs> Everyone's typing it in. Okay. It won't let me donate $25. Sorry, I would. Brian Lake, no big deal. Hey, I mean, if you can't or don't want to or, you know, whatever, <laughs> donations are not required, but they're highly accepted and, re and, and uh, appreciated as, of course, like I said, the, all the money's going toward a laptop anyway. So uh, it's for the channel for sure. Eleni Hi Eleni Hailu. I love that name. Thank you very much. Uh, she says, er, yeah, she says, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for the support, guys. We are seconds away. Wow, one second. Bam. Let's go. Actually, let's request for troops. They're not necessarily required, but let's go out and find another base, guys. Looking for those dead 1009s, 1010s. Even dead 1011s are fine. The dead base farming in Crystal League. Oh, and I hit. Dang it. I guess I'm going to trophy drop on this guy. You're welcome, Alpin. I hit... Dang it, guys. I accidentally dropped a, a, a Barbarian. I lost 26 cups just because I missed the button. Anybody ever do that? I'm sure you do. I'm sure it happens to you. No, no, wait, wait, no. You are perfect. You are, you're a perfect person, so you definitely don't do it. But anybody else probably does that all the time. Everybody that's a member of the class family are amazing, so I'm assuming you never make mistakes, right? Klaus, are you, uh, how are you, Klaus? Loving your videos, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing well. Looking for bases. Looking for loot, as always. Here we go. What is that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Justin Rogers coming in the clutch with a $20 donation. 
Matching the MVP for Supremes and the message was woohoo. I mean, yeah, we're getting let's get some donation hype in the chat now Supremes beat you to it with that $20 donation so Supreme stays the MVP for the day But thank you very much for the donation again every dollar going toward a new laptop and then Perfect timing ladies and gentlemen perfect timing look at this guys another dead town hall 10 and this time we're gonna do it right we're gonna we're gonna be a little more tactical tactical with our deployment um are we yeah i think we should for sure let's get our troops in let's see can we get into this all oh, okay let's get rid of these exterior buildings what i'm gonna try to do is i'm gonna try my best to get the barbarians to burrow into this base let's keep the the mortar busy Let's get the Barbarians to burrow into this base. Stop that cannon. Stop that. I want these Barbarians to go in because that's where all the loot is. There we go. Very nice. Let's send in about half of our Barbarians in. There are splash damage here, so I'm not sure exactly how successful this will be. These are very strong defenses, but it doesn't hurt to try. Same thing over here, guys. Let's see. Can we get... Let's distract the Mortar over here. Let's get the, uh, the Barbarians to go into this base through the wall compartment. And, uh, let's see. Let's definitely get the Dark Elixir out of here. We're definitely not going to win the attack. We knew that already going into it because it's a strong base. Uh, but you know what? It's all good. So let's send in our the rest of our archers on this side here. And then we'll use our queen to grab whatever logically makes sense. Uh, definitely going to leave a lot on the table. But you know what? That is the weakness of Barch. That is definitely the weakness of Barch. Um, Dark Elixir. There's a lot of Dark Elixir up here. We cannot get the, the queen to grab that because it's too far behind the wall. Uh, there's a lot of elixir right here as well. There's tons of elixir up here, but there's also it's a very dangerous area. So let's see. Actually, we can't even get this elixir. Okay, so the most logical choice would be to grab this compartment here because there's gold, there's two mines, and one collector on this side. So let's definitely target the cannon first, and then we'll pop our ability here in just a moment. Yeah, let's pop the ability. All right, guys, so I wish I could say loot hype, but I honestly have no idea how much of the suit we're going to end up grabbing. Here we go. All right, and we definitely lost the attack. Let's not even, let's not even try. Yeah, that was not so good. That is the base that we needed Lunian on. I'm definitely going to be hopping over to Lunian for my second boost um, because that was disappointing. We, we, we should have gotten a lot more loot than that, but Barch is weak. That's why you use it, though, and generally we use it in the lower leagues. So, you know. Oh, look at that. We got some, wow. Valkyries in the clan castle. That is sick. I I, I am grateful for that. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we got about four minutes left in the boost. We'll definitely have one more attack remaining, and then we'll kick over to Lunian after the second barch. And we'll definitely need to also boost our spell factory because Lunian requires lots of rages and hastes uh, for the second half of this stream. Let's have some... What is it? Yeah, that was disappointing loot. Absolutely, Courtney Stowe. Absolutely. Um, let's get some second boost hype. Are you guys excited for a second boost? We're going to be here for a second hour in this Fix That Rush series. If you are just now tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. And definitely make sure and smack that subscribe button uh, because we do daily Clash of Clans content. Smack that for the Klaus family. Uh, we have a lot of fun here. Now, here's what we got here. We've got one more barch. The boost will end during our attack. We'll have to come back, immediately boost the second time, and then we'll start up our Lunian. And it's going to take a while to get Lunian armies because uh, one of our barracks is upgrading. But that's just the way it is, guys. All, all real things here. All real life farming. Definitely. All real life farming. So, how much time do we have left? Seven minutes? No, 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 no. We got a minute. We got two and a half minutes to go before our barch are ready. Let's check out what we got going on up in the chat, guys. Second boost type. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. What kind of laptop do I want to get? I honestly don't know. The total um, that I was recommended was uh, came from a friend, Clash Bashing. If you guys know Clash Bashing YouTube, go check out his channel if you have not done that. Uh, but, um, hey, I mean... He, he recommended that amount because that'll give me a good a good laptop. What is this? Whoa! What does that mean? Henrik Miller Yord, thank you very much for the donation of 40 Norsk in OK. <laughs> what does that mean in in American dollars? I'm gonna convert it right now. What does that mean? What does that mean, people? Alright, so I think let me see. 40 40 in OK. 
to do to US dollars. Wow, there's actually like a website devoted to this. All right, so thank you very much, uh, Norwegian Crone. That is a that is four dollars and eighty two cents US dollar. Thank you so much for the donation, uh, Henrik. Thank you very much. And oh, by the way, let's get some donation hype in the chat. So that is shout out to him. And what is the best attack for a new Tunnel Nine? That's a good question. A new Tunnel Nine would benefit from my Tunnel Nine Let's Play. Go check it out. It's a series on the channel playlist. And um, to, to, get, to answer your question, though, wait, wait, we're missing a barbarian. What happened there? Um, oh, whenever I misclicked the barbarian, that was awful. Um, so the um, the best tech for a new Tunnel Nine probably Goblin Knife. If you're going to be dark elixir farming, use Goblin Knife. If you want, if you want elixir, just use Barch. No big deal. But definitely follow me on my Tunnel Nine Let's Play. You'll earn, you'll learn a lot from watching that in comparison to just me telling you stuff. So, donation hype. Thank you very much. Now let's uh, let's go back out. I'm excited. I'm excited. We got um, how long? We got about 30 seconds remaining before we can go back out for our, our last raid on our first boost. We'll come back and do a second boost. Having some fun today. Um, I hope that was the right conversion, by the way, for NOK. What does NOK stand for again? Norwegian Krone. That is so cool. I love it. I, I don't know anything about uh, a lot of other currencies in the world, so I'm learning so much from these streams. Thank you again for the donation. Donation hype, Henrik. Is it pronounced Henrik or is it like Enrique? Enrique? I don't know. All right, so we got four seconds remaining, and then we can go back out. Let's go. We ready? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good to go. <laughs> Klaus, do you have any pets? I have two cats actually. They're they're my wife's cats. Um, we would have dogs, but we don't like we don't have time to like love a dog right now, and we don't want to like get a dog and then him just get or her get bored all the time so you know we're getting there i'm actually working to get my wife out of her job right now she's not liking it too much but you know all in good time there are times in your life ladies and gentlemen when you will have to do stuff you don't like to do that's life that's okay all right guys looking for one more actually this the, we got two more barch bases the dead base lovely dead base collectors and mines Let's hit it. Let's get it. This is an amazing base. Wow, it's got two wizard towers, three wizard, four wizard towers upgrading. This one would have been an amazing Lunian base had we found it. Because look at that loot. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful base to find. Mm. Justin Rogers class, $32 in total. Why am I not the MVP? The MVP feature works in total. Not total, um, but one-time donations. That That's honestly how it works. But it, that's mostly because I'm too lazy to do math. That's but, but Justin Rogers actually is the true MVP of the day. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, so I will add that after I find this next base, Justin. Thank you for that. I apologize for, um, for you know, leaving you out, but I will update you. $32 MVP of the day, top donator, Justin Rogers. I will add it here in just a moment. I will add it here in just a moment. So if we can ever find a base. What I need, guys, is I really need a dead tunnel 10. Let's see if it'll work this time. It worked earlier. Oh my goodness, it did! Holy cow! <laughs> dead base hype right there. Look at this. Holy cow. That is amazing. What is this? Oh my goodness. You guys are you guys are blowing my mind right now. Vishwanath Balasodaram. I tried my best with that name, my man, with 200 Indian rupees. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, the the message says, thank you for all the good vids. Love your live stream. Keep up the good work, bro. Just donating what I can. Uh, thank you very much. Donation hype. Thank you very much. You can call me Vishy in the name. It's tough for you to pronounce Vishy. Vishwanath. I got you, bro. I got you. All right, let's 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 wreck this base. And by the way, I think uh, 200 rupees, I'm not entirely sure what it converts to, but I'm not sure it's more than $32. I don't think so, but, you know, I'll Google it. I'll look it up here in a minute. All right, guys, let's hit this base. Dead base hype right here. Amazing loot. 450,000 gold and elixir. There's our barbarians. Here goes our archers. Holy cow, guys. And I guess while that's happening, Justin Rogers does deserve to be considered the MVP. Supreme, sorry about that, buddy. But... Math. Math under bright lights in live is difficult. There we go. MVP has been updated to Justin Rogers, $32. Now let's... Let me do a... I'm gonna do a quick conversion, and also we need to use our... Uh, we need to use our troops. Where is the best place to deploy our... Our clan castle. Let's send in our clan castle at that 
uh, at Archer Tower. I'm gonna let the clan castle do work until it gets through the second wall. Luckily, these are low level walls on a rushed dead tunnel 10. So once the wall goes down, bam. All right, queen goes down. We're gonna wreck this base. We're gonna get that elixir out of that collector. And then maybe, wow, that queen died quick. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to get even more. We'll be able to get even more loot. Now the queen, let's see, is queen okay? Popper ability. Dark Lich Storage, anything in there? Wow, nothing in the Dark Lich Storage. That is insane, guys. Now, once the Queen starts taking some damage, yep, we're out. Okay, so again, sort of disappointing we didn't get any Dark Elixir, but the Elixir, again, the currency of anti-rushing, 358,000 Elixir, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I am searching right now for the conversion of the Rupee. So, what is that? It Indian Rupee, is that what it's called? Yeah, it is, awesome, okay. Oh, that's $24, wow. No, wait, no, no, it's $3. $3.10. All right, there we go. The page didn't update. Thank you again for the donation. I don't care how big or small and grateful either way. A drop in the bucket. Everything counts toward that new laptop. So thank you all so much for your support. Your support today has been amazing. Um, I want to say keep up the good work. <laughs> all right, so now, guys, let's get a second boost going. It's time. If you're boosting with me, I hope that y'all are having fun. I hope that you're boosting with me and getting good loot. Better loot than me, actually. I'm not doing that great. Uh, but let's boost right now. 30 gems. Bam. All right. So the uh, the troops are going. The spells are going. And lastly, the queen is going. Next, let's get the Lunian started after this next barge. Okay. So um, now we've got, we got a little bit of time to wait, unfortunately. That is uh, that's sad. But that's just the way it is. Whenever you, whenever your boost ends while you're attacking like this, you end up having this, this section of time when your, your troops were not boosted. So, you know, not much progress is being made while we were attacking. So now we've got quite a wait, six minutes. Not too bad, guys. I can talk to you guys more in the chat and hang out. Oh man, Klaus will never see this post. Chino, Chini boy, Chini boy. Oh, I saw you, my man. I saw you. Thanks for, thanks for being here. You're amazing. Bronze League is awesome. The Phillies, 25. What's going on, my man? Um, the Bronze League is actually nice. What I found out whenever I did my, uh, I did a, a, a video where I dropped to zero, okay? I dropped to zero trope, legit zero, okay? Go check it out on the channel if you want to see what it was like. But I went down there and had some fun, found some amazing bases, but I found that the majority of the best loot was actually in, like, Silver League. So... You know, Bronze League has some stuff, Silver League has some stuff, but going down to zero takes so long, it's probably not worth it. But it, there's there's definitely some amazing bases down there. What you find a lot of down there is these engineered bases or these defenseless bases with like full collectors in mines, full storages. Ugh, it's amazing. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Plus, how do you deploy your troops like that? Four finger deployment, my man. Just I'm, I'm using an iPad, put fingers down and go for it. Hi from Norway. What's going on, Silver? Thanks for being here, my man. I bet you $20 he won't see this. If he does, someone has to tell me how to donate Monet. Wow. Well, there you go. I got lucky. Jumping, Jared. What's going on, man? Type in exclamation point donate into the chat. It'll pop up the link. Or if you're on an Android device, there's a dollar sign thing at the bottom. That's super chat. You can use that as well. Dude, don't use all of your troops. <laughs> I always use all my troops. That's just that's just how I work. That's just how I am. Klaus, what kind of music are you into? I've been actually enjoying rock, like harder rock music lately. I normally don't listen to like harder rock music, uh, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the current band, and I gave them a shout out my last stream, but again, the current band that I'm really liking right now is called Nothing More. Go check them out if you like that kind of stuff. I just got to Town Hall 6 today. Dom Santomo, what is up, man? Congratulations. Town Hall 6 is where stuff gets fun. You get the heal spell. You get healers. Uh, Town Hall 6 is fun. It's when things get really interesting. Klaus, when are you going to do base reviews? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I've always, I always feel like I've got more interesting and more important things to do. How about this today? How about after the second boost, I will end the stream, okay? You guys stick around, and I'll immediately start a second stream for base reviews. We'll do we'll do like 20 minutes of base reviews, and I won't publish that video to the channel. Or if I do, I'll wait until later on. That's an idea. Let me know in the chat if y'all think that's a good idea. Are you German? Maybe. Good question. 
Do I upgrade my walls or my defenses? Niels, it, de it depends on your base, man. Um, I, I definitely would not have rushed walls because as you saw, Valkyrie's wreck rushed walls. Uh, but it, it would be kind of both. It would be kind of like, you want to be balanced. You want to have a balance on your base. You don't want to do too much defense. You don't want to do too much walls. You want to keep everything balanced, but prioritize offense first because that's, uh, that's where it gets started. Good idea. Good, good. I, I like that you guys like the idea of doing base reviews. That'll be a lot of fun. I'll do it the way I saw they coming to Clash. And what he, what he did, and I'll, I'll jump onto my main account for that, is I'll open up my base to, um, to friend requests, and then I'll just go from top to bottom on the friend requests. So you guys have to be kind of, kind of ready. And I'll do, I'll do base reviews on how I feel like the base design looks, maybe give advice on what needs to be upgraded next, etc., etc. And obviously, shout out to everybody that shows up on the on the video or in the stream. Are you coming to India? I not not today. <laughs> I would love to though. Absolutely, I would love to come to India. That would be amazing. Uh, but you know, obviously, there are limitations <laughs> like fundage, flying flying to another country is expensive. So you know, I will one day be doing that. But um, you know, not not very soon. Can you lick your elbow? Ah, oh, man, that is a good question. I, I don't know. I, I used to actually be really be able to get really close. If let, Let's say this. I will attempt, I will really try hard to lick my elbow if somebody beats Justin Rogers' $32 donation. That's I'll, I'll do that for sure. If somebody else becomes the MVP of the day, I will attempt to lick my elbow. And Justin, does, that doesn't count you. If you donate like another dollar, it doesn't count. <laughs> Where do you live? I live in Texas, my man. Vincent. Oh, I love that name. Vincent De, De, De Apiro. Ooh, that's a sexy name. I like that a lot. Klaus, what is your favorite troop? I love myself the Hog Riders, ladies and gentlemen. The Hog Riders. Um, my favorite troop for sure. Hassan, hi Klaus. Always, I wanted, uh, always, I wanted to see your uh, videos. I love you. Finally, good listen to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here, guys. I'm excited about my next tech. We've started our second boost. We're fixing this rushed account. It, lots of work to be done. It's going to be good, guys. I'm excited. I am excited. All right, so the bar, the barge is ready to go. Let's do this. Trying to find another base. I could have probably requested for troops, but I didn't do that. I'll do that next time. No big deal. What is your favorite spell? Um, I don't have a favorite spell necessarily. It kind of depends on the, the the attack strategy. Like for instance, ooh, this is a dead base. Dead tunnel, not uh, tunnel ten. Learn how to look, Klaus. Dead tunnel ten, but it, you know the dark looks is not so great. We can do better than that. Oh, what's my favorite spell? It depends on my attack strategy. Like obviously, if you're using air attack, you want to use rage or haste. Um, if you're using hogs, you want to use use heal spell. I don't really have a favorite spell. I mean, I guess I could say the heal spell. I'll go with the heal spell, my favorite spell. No, the rage spell. The rage spell is my favorite spell because when you get like bowlers or Valkyries in the middle of the base and you drop that rage, it's like utter destruction. It's like nothing can stand in the way. It's amazing. Not bad, not bad. T uh, Dead Town Hall 8, so we've got ourselves some full collectors, but the loot. So this is something. If I was a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 8, this base would have a lot more loot, but because I'm a Town Hall 10, there's a 50% loot penalty. So actually, this base would probably be holding 400,000 Elixir, not 200,000. So this is one of the main reasons why I don't like rushing, because um, if your troops aren't upgraded, it's hard to hit bases your level, so you need to hit weaker bases, and that loot penalty really ruins everything. Also, yeah, yeah, Sandman Huffmaster, what is up? Raged Goblins, yeah, yeah, Raged Goblins for the, the Goblin Knife are amazing. Do, goblin, do lobsters think that fish are flying? Evan Morris, that's an interesting question. Um... I, I have no opinion of that question. Probably so. I mean, they, 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 oh yeah, for sure. What tunnel late war strategy do you think is best? Tom Ataze, what's going on, man? Um, hog riders, absolutely hog riders, the best attack strategy at tunnel eight. Um, if, uh, if you find out that tunnel eight hogs won't work on a certain base because it's just a hard base, then you could probably learn quad quake, not quad quake, uh, zap quake. Dragons or Dragloon that works too, especially if you can have some max 
Uh, some Max, what am I thinking? Max balloons in the clan castle. Klaus, how do I donate? Uh, type an exclamation point donate into the chat. It'll send you to a link. Or if you're on an Android device, there is a dollar sign button for Super Chat. So you can do that. If there's not a dollar sign button, I think you have to be on the YouTube gaming app, not the regular YouTube app. I'm not entirely sure exactly. When you get a laptop, can I have your old one? <laughs> That's funny. I don't have a laptop right now. I'm using a legit PC. The reason why I need a laptop is so that I can go out and I can do, you know, fun stuff. I can do uh, record videos and whatnot while I am on the road, while I'm traveling. That's the main reason. Oh man, bait. That's not good enough either, guys. I look for 300,000 gold elixir. The, the loot right now is, is kind of disappointing. Yesterday was worse though, I think. Uh, so we're, we're doing okay, but I'd like to see some better bait, some better loot to, for sure. That's really good loot, actually, but... No, if I if I had some giants in the clan castle or Valkyries, I would totally attack that base. But not, not good enough, guys. You guys understand. You guys know when it comes to farming, you have to. You absolutely have to um, make sure that you're, you're patient. If you're attacking bases just because you get impatient, then you're not doing yourself any favor. So I'm going to remain patient. Even though you're watching, you're wanting me to hit bases. Um, I'm not going to waste my attack. I'm not going to waste my resources and my troops attacking a base that's not good enough. So we're going to keep searching. It's all good. And look at that. Patience has paid off. The Dark Elixir's crap, but we're gonna we're gonna attack this base anyway, because it's got over 400,000 elixir. Let's take out the corner buildings and then go straight for these. It's another dead town hall 10. Uh, you know, doesn't really deserve loot hype though. The Dark Elixir's not great, but dead base, dead base hype. Come on. Let's go. Barbarians and archers down. I'm gonna use my queen. You know, I'm gonna use my queen to uh, to grab whatever loot is remaining. We got a lot of elixir still dropping right now. A lot of the loot is probably in the storages. So if we can maybe use our queen to snipe a storage, that would be best. Um, but I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to, honestly. Yeah, I think all these elixir storages are are sunken in too much. Let's see, can we get the queen to target that wall? No, she's gonna go for the archer tower. That's a bummer. All right, so let's deploy. Let's pop queen's ability early for the. Point defense. Let's get that uh, wizard tower, queen, arch tower. Now she's going the wrong direction. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant, Betty. Brilliant. Once she gets this gold storage, I'm cutting out. I'm out. I don't want to. I don't want to bother. Man, that's disappointing. Okay, well, it's just it's not that much. Eighty-five thousand elixir. Let's cut out there now. Sixty-four percent one star. Good golden elixir plus a loot bonus. That's uh, that's nearly four hundred thousand gold and elixir and a, a, a whopping. Get this, guys. A whopping one hundred and forty-eight dark elixir. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Did I just see Sam Rustin? I did. Sam Rustin in the house. What is going on, my man? He's a longtime subscriber and a very, very common uh, uh, commenter on the on the videos. Sam, I hope you're doing well, my man. All right, so let's start requesting for Hound or Loons plus Poison. And now, guys, we're going to get this Loonian started. I'm excited. Uh, Looney to start. We got one more barch, uh, uh, one more barch raid to go. We need to remember not to use any of our spells though, because if we do, it's gonna mess up the entire system. But now we got Looney and training up very, very nicely. One more barch raid to go. Two minutes before it's all done. A minute and a half actually before it's all said and done. What is going on in the chat? Goose Nation. I know, man. Goose Nation, long time subscriber. I get it. Uh, what cl uh, class? What are the best on nine and ten war strategies? That's a big question, my man. Um, what is that? Who who said that? SS Clasher. Best on nine war strategies. MSMD. Check out the guys' playlist for that. Um, and also we've got La Lune. That's great. Hog Riders is good, decent at least. And um, Bowlers, Bowlers and Witches. Gobo, Gobo Witch. Excellent for tunnel ten, tunnel eleven. Pretty much the same strategies. You don't see a whole lot of dragons at those at those um, levels. You never see. I I rarely see Pekka. Not my favorite troop. But that's a big question, man. You got. I would recommend watching my my war recaps that I do on occasion. My streams whenever I get to stream war. Though those are that's definitely the best way to learn war. And then there's also a lot of war based channels that are out there that are great. So definitely go check them out as well. Tunnel seven attack strategies. Uh, watch my Tunnel 7 Let's Play. That'll, that'll explain it a heck of a lot better than I can explain it now. 
Do I give advice to fellow Clashers? Gabriella Bright, what's going on? Um, yes, I do give advice, questions answered, things like that. But also, we're going to be doing some base reviews after my second, my, uh, my second, uh, what's the best, <laughs> second boost. Had a moment where I couldn't think. We'll do a, uh, some base reviews after the stream, so definitely check out, definitely stick around so we can, you can be reviewed. Um, I'll make it as fair as I can, first come, first serve, based on the friend request system. That'll help a lot. Because in the past, anytime we did some base reviews, it was it was in the chat and it was chaos. So, yeah, this way will be a lot better. All right, guys, one more Barch. All right, one more Barch army. I'm tired of Barch now. I'm ready for something else. And wow, that is an amazing base. 500,000 elixir. However, a lot of that loot's in the middle. But the base, I mean, the base is down a late level. So. And dead. I mean, look at that. Dead expo. We de we got one that's upgrading, so it's not an entirely dead base. It's just somebody somebody drop mic drops. They went in, they upgraded their expo, and then they're like, I'm out. I don't care anymore. So <laughs> let's attack this base. Barbarians down, just like so. We'll use our queen to, to snipe the, as much elixir as we can out of the middle. There we go there. Let's put down our queen early to wipe out the enemy queen and keep all of our little troops alive. There we go. Hopefully, at this point, we can get our queen to burrow into the base and grab the elixir out of the storages. That would be ideal. That would be perfect. Um, most, I think it's all going to depend on that archer tower going down right there. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. All right. So, the queen is now going to go into the base. Now, the next big question is the Teslas. Are the Teslas going to stop us? That's a good question. This is a level 15 queen. She's not level 30 or more like she should be at tunnel 10. So we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. Queen, at least we'll get one storage. That's good. Um, and I think if we can keep her alive through at least one of these Teslas, then we'll be in good shape. So she's going to work on a, a wizard tower now. That's only like, what, level 6 or something? 7? So no big deal there. She's going to work on this Tesla. Now hopefully she's too far away from the other Tesla to where she'll just go into the base. Nope, never mind. All right, pop the ability. She's going to get through that Tesla and then that Archer Tower. And then, yes, she's going to work through the wall. That'll open up a lot of other stuff. No point defenses in the middle. And if she takes out the Mortar, she's going to be free and clear to start wiping out other buildings. Unfortunately for us, I think this Archer Tower out here might stop us from being able to wipe out everything on this front line to where it forces the Queen to go into the base. We'll see. We'll just have to see. We're, we've had some great luck so far with this naked Queen Walk. So, let's just see how it goes, man. Oh, my goodness, guys. Going to be nuts. Going to be crazy. Oh, she's grabbing the Dark Elixir now. That is so awesome. Betty is... Uh, earlier, earlier, Betty really failed me. Betty's the name of my queen for any new viewers right now. The queen's name is Betty. And she's actually doing good work today. Usually, she lets me down. But today, she's doing great. Getting the Dark Elixir. Hopefully, she grabs the Dark Elixir out of the storage. And hopefully, this drill before she gets shut down by that Arch Tower out there. We'll just have to see. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, Wizard Tower. No! <laughs> Stop that. Ah, oh, we almost got all the Dark Elixir out of the drill. Okay, guys, so I think it's worth it to allow our archers to get through this wall. Because if the archers can get through the wall, they're going to steal more Elixir. Or they'll start working on a sweeper or something dumb and get shot. Yeah, that's, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay. Guys, that went way better than I expected. Let's get some massive, and I'm talking about all caps, lots of emojis, lots of exclamation points, massive loot hype in the chat for our last departure raid. Tons of loot, 469,000 elixir. Very, very nice. Beautiful. All right. That was awesome. Loved it. Now, guys, we are starting our next Lunion, and we've got an extra poison spell. Can we go ahead and donate this? No, we can't. Okay. We can't donate it, so I've just got to get rid of it. We definitely need all of the haste spells that we can get. So, now our Lunin is training up. We've got five minutes? What? No. Dang it. All right, we got five minutes before the next Lunin is ready to go. So, we've got a little bit of time. The queen is waking up, so that's good. Let's uh, let's see what you guys are up to in the chat. Loot hype all over the place. Let's see it. Let's do it. I like it. Please make a Town Online trophy pushing video with an Elixir army. Um, I don't think that's possible. I mean, maybe dragons and, and balloons, but I don't know. That doesn't sound very fun to me. That is why I only trophy push when my heroes are maxed. 
If um, if your heroes aren't maxed, I really recommend staying in Crystal League. I really recommend farming and maxing your heroes before you trophy push because Dark Elixir armies are so much stronger and is excellent practice for you if you're a war player, which I am. Uh, class, what army do you enjoy using the most? Brandon Warren. What's going on, my man? Um, I really, really enjoyed Lunian. I'm excited about Lunian. I've been finding uh, amazing loot. Three starring bases. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, very excited. Very, very excited about Lunian. But my favorite army, just in general, is, is anything using hogs. I mean, honestly, you get some heal spells and some hogs. It's going to be amazing. Class, why don't you stream on Twitch? My subscribers aren't on Twitch. I like YouTube better. <laughs> Everybody's here. There's no sense in um, there's no sense in getting the 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 dealing with Twitch. Everybody's on YouTube. Should I unlock the Expos? I'm a level ten queen. Should I follow your guide? Miyar Islam. Yes, I absolutely think you should upgrade your Expos to level one. Don't upgrade them to level two until your uh, your hero is level fifteen, and then go to level three when they hit twenty. Good idea. And guys, for those of you that are wondering to yourself, why in the world would I wait before I upgrade my Expos? Go watch the Town Hall 9 upgrade guide in the guides playlist. It'll explain War Wait very much better than I can now because it was scripted. And um, yeah, yeah, good. it was a good idea for sure. Good idea to watch that. All right, guys, how much longer? Three minutes, two minutes before we can go back out and enjoy our first Lunian attack of the stream. Very exciting, guys. We are sitting on 3.5 million elixir. We pretty much had no loot when we first started. So uh, 3.5 million elixir, 3.9 million gold, 55,000 dark elixir, and we got a little bit in our treasury. So very excited to see what we're going to be able to accomplish with our one builder. Also, highly recommend or highly uh, doubt that we're going to get to over 80,000 Dark Elixir. So what that means is that we'll definitely have a lot of Dark Elixir to, to use on Friday whenever our king wakes up and we do our Fix That Rush Friday series. For those of you that may be new or have not yet done so, follow me on Twitter. That the, the, the thing is up at the top of the screen, at Klaus underscore media. There's a link in the video description if you want to follow me on there for all of the stream information, letting you guys know ahead of time, at least an hour ahead of time, uh, when something like that is going to happen. Happen streaming wise um, but very excited to see what we're able to accomplish today having a blast thank y'all so much for being here today as we are hey we're having a blast we're having fun right and the question remains are we gonna do some base reviews after the stream after this boost I will be doing some base reviews I'm going to stop the stream I'll go offline for maybe 10 minutes or so and then I'll go back online so you know, make sure you've got notifications turned on or whatever. We'll do base reviews, and then I'm not sure if I'm going to make that an actual video on the channel or not. But it will have, we'll have some fun today. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Earthquake spell or jump spell? Uh, Mahul, Mahul Paul. That's a good question. Depends on your town hall level. If you're a town hall 9, don't be using quad quake. All right? Use jump spell. Works the same way. It's half the spell capacity. And it's elixir, not dark elixir. So that's even better. What do you think is the best card in the game? Luke or Cell, what's up? Um, card? Are you thinking about Clash Royale? I don't play Clash Royale enough to know the answer. <laughs> barbarian mean or Barch means Barbarian and Archer. What does chill mean? Muffin Boys. Hey, hey. Chill means chill. <laughs> chill means relax. That's what we're doing today. We're farming, we're relaxing, we're chilling. It's good. All right, I did not get any Cloud Castle troops, but I do have my Lunian. So let's go out for our first Lunian attack of the day. Now, guys, I'm looking for bases with lots of loot, uh, you know, preferably without Inferno Towers. And we'll see how much loot we get. Now we don't have to depend on dead bases with full collectors and mines. This is huge. I'm very excited. How do you donate? Type exclamation point donate into the chat. It'll bring up a link for you to use. What is elite? What is your favorite tunnel level class? I love your videos. Um, tunnel ten is the most challenging town hall level so i think that's probably my answer but probably the most satisfying town hall level is tunnel nine because there's a lot of variety lots of ways to beat bases three star bases and I, I don't know i mean it's just fun to be able to to three star bases all right guys so here is a wonderful 
a wonderful base to hit. Level 3 queen on a tunnel 10. This is almost as bad as what we were when we first started on this base. And all the loot's on the bottom, but because the sweepers are pointing down, I'm gonna come at the base from the top. Let's use some minions to, um, to you know, wipe out some of these external buildings first and foremost. Now, let's get it going, guys. Two finger deployment here. Balloons in very strong. Let's get some minions in as well. Hold on to a few. Let's haste, let's haste, and let's haste. Poison spell over the enemy queen. Let's also haste over that middle group there because there's a lot of them there. And guys, I think this is already GG. This is looking very promising because there's like no more air targeting defenses. Oh, wow. All right, let's overkill this base, guys. Let's overkill this base. Overkill hype. All right, so rage spell down. Let's drop one more rage spell. It's going to send all these balloons in. And um, man, this is going to be bad. All right, let's put down our, our minions on that far side. Overkill hype, baby. Yeah. Three star. This is an absolute three star. The loot was amazing, so we have some loot hype as well. But just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Pop the Queen's ability. We're gonna get through that that laboratory, and then now our minions and our balloons are gonna be doing some some killing, some overkill, uh, getting all the loot. Man, that was beautiful. That's why I love my Loonian because it is strong. It's not too expensive. We'll look. We'll look. Let's see how expensive it is. Uh, but it's definitely a great strategy for hitting bases that might be a little bit too strong for Barch. Beautiful. I mean, wow. Half a million elixir. Gorgeous. I, I could not ask for more. I could not ask for anything better. We got Lunian going, guys. The cost of Lunian is significantly more than the Barch. Uh, 237,000 elixir, also 775 dark elixir. But it's worth it if you're hitting bases that have more loot than the Barch. Um, and it's more fun. So that's a lot of the reason why we are using it right now in this stream. Now, I would love to just start gemming stuff. Ugh, this is so bad. S having to wait for this, this barracks is terrible. Um, it's making my training time longer. It's awful. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Wrecked three-star hype. Now, let's, I guess, <laughs> let's hang out in the chat for a little while for these Loonian to come up. Awesome. A tunnel nine rushed. Can you please suggest a way to max it? I mean, on what you what I should work on more offense, defense, something heroes, something that can make me stronger. Actually, I took it off my brother or took it from my brother and also attack strategies. Muhammad Sar Faraz, what's going on, my man? Hey, go check out the first few episodes of my Let's Fix That Rush series. It's a playlist on the channel. It will answer the question way better than I could here because it gives examples. It uh, it shows you real life experiences. And um, I think it answers way better. I think it answers the question way better than if I was to just say, offense, barch. You know, it's it's better to watch the video for sure. All right. Is England your city? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> man, I can't wait to do Tunnel on Lunian. Dylan, FPV. Oh, man. Lunian. It's gorgeous. And this is actually Tunnel 10 Lunian. Sort of. Here's the here's the catch. All right. If we go into my... Uh, my what is this called? My laboratory. And if you look, my minions are only level four. My mint or my only level three. They need to go to level four. Level four minion is max for tunnel eight. Level three minion is one upgrade through tunnel eight. So I have level, I have tunnel eight level minions. It's so bad. It's so bad right now. Oh, so bad. But the good thing is the balloons are max for tunnel 10, which is actually still max. Same as max for tunnel nine. So you know what? It is what it is. It's okay. It's just fine. We've got it. Oh, man. Still more minutes. All right. Let's see what you guys are up to. Minor raids are amazing. Scotty Graves. Oh, man. I've been having fun with miners on my main account. Yo, yo. Oh, yeah. I did some videos today. Not today. I did some videos earlier. Uh, my tunnel tan trophy push to Legend League on my main account. This is just a mini. This is just a secondary account that belongs to a friend of mine that I'm fixing for a series on the channel. My main account, Tunnel 10 Legend Push, is actually going very well. Enjoying bowlers again, but miners as well. The reason why I haven't been using miners a lot is because I actually need elixir. I don't really need dark elixir, so bowlers is the, the logical choice for me. But minor raids are fun. Have have a lot of fun with minor raids. You will not see this class, Legend Master. I did, man. I did. <laughs> Klaus, please read, Silver. Okay. Hey, hey. Second, the second uh, time I've read you, man, Silver. Please read. Can I join uh, Boston Tea Party? I'm a new tunnel line with 10, 10 heroes. I know that they are too low, but in the future. Yeah, of course you can. But I'm, and I'm building my expos now. I am on Discord already. Okay, Silver. So what he's doing is he is asking me about joining my clan. Boston Tea Party. If you want a chance to join the clan, 
join the Discord fan chat and clan directory server, okay? There is a link down below in the video description for that, or you can type exclamation point join. I believe that'll give you the link as well. And uh, that will lead you to our application server. Now, I wanna, I wanna warn you, we are a CWL clan and a top war clan, so we only accept really pretty much max tunnel nines. Um, so if you're below max tunnel nine, we don't accept, unfortunately, but it's always a good idea for you to join the fan chat because I send in, you know, announcements. Clans need, need you know, members. I'll, I'll advertise on there and stuff. We also, we also hang out. It's a good place for you to talk to me outside of YouTube and outside of streams. So definitely go check out the Discord server. But as far as joining, I mean, it, it, it's up to our application team. I, I'm not uh, involved in the application team at all. Uh, it's not my department. <laughs> you have to be a war player to join your clan. Yes, you do, Joe. Sorry about that. Is it worth it to upgrade my walls to level 7? Because it's too expensive and I'm struggling to upgrade my defenses anyway. Obelisk! Yeah, I know what you're saying there, Obelisk. I understand, but yes, you absolutely need to upgrade your walls. You've seen it already. I used some Clan Castle Valkyries and wrecked through those level 7 walls. They are soft and squishy like marshmallows. You definitely need to upgrade them. The, uh, the walls here, I've got all level 8 walls. It's worth doing. And then I'm going to go to level 9. And they're a million gold apiece. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Domino, not pizza. I know you're... Just stop. <laughs> stop trolling. All right. So, um, am I going to do a push series at the end? Um, no, not with this base. I'm pushing with my real tunnel 10. I'm not going to push with a rush tunnel 10. The finale of this base is going to be a war. <laughs> you're not supposed to war with rushed accounts. So, once this account is fixed, the, f the natural progression would be a f it would be a finale of a war attack with this account because right now if I go into my laboratory my war troops my hogs my Valkyries things like that are level one I have never put I since I've uh, gotten this this base I have never put any dark elixir into my lab I've been putting all elixir into the lab which is why my farming troops are maxed and once I what happened Gabriella Bright, thank you very much for the two dollar holla and the messages. I am a huge fan. Well, I'm a huge fan of you, Gabriella. Thank you very much for the donation. Um, every dollar going toward a laptop. So let's get some donation hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very nice. Thank you very much for that. And I lost all track of my thoughts. How are we doing on? Oh, we got a we got an army. We need to go out and do some farming. Let's get a base. Let's attack a base now. There we go. Luis, Luis in the house. What's going on, my man? I always see you, man. I think it's because you're um you're like Luis Sosa in the house, guys. Say hi to Luis in the chat. He's he's a, a regular on the streams. And uh Jasper, where is Chunk Hammer? This is Chunk Hammer. If you watch the Let's Play, Let's Fix That Rush series, you'll see that I actually changed the name physically in the game in the video. So um Luis Sosa, I think the reason why I always notice you, man, is because you're your um your profile picture is like this this handsome guy with this awesome hair like that's probably why I noticed um, versus people whose you know a profile picture is um you know just a little little default thing. Whoa! Look at this base. Is this base? I think this base is going for engineered. Actually, look at this. They're going for engineered. They got loot like crazy, low level defenses, but if they were really engineered, they'd have higher uh, 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 heroes. <laughs> and there's no queen. So this is definitely a rushed base. However, the Dark Elixir is not enough. The cost of the Dark Elixir for looting is 775 Dark Elixirs. We absolutely have to make sure we get more than that. This base is better, but I don't know. I'm looking for 3,000 Dark Elixir. That's kind of what I'm aiming for right now. I thought I saw a, I thought I saw, oh wait, what is this? Nope, that's not good either. I thought I saw a comment that I really wanted to re, to respond to, but I, I lost it, guys. That's okay. All right, let's try to find a base. I'm easily distracted now. We're getting, we're nearing the semi end of the, the stream here. So, you know, been talking for two hours. I'm starting to get pretty, uh, pretty tired. But guys, don't forget, we will be doing base reviews after this stream, follow me on Twitter if uh, if you want an active notification for that, or just stick around um, on this page because I'll I'll come right back up for some base reviews. Uh, but I do want to cut this stream off and then start a new one, so that's going to be happening soon. I'm excited about that.
Loot hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this dead town. No, it's not dead. This is just a town hall 9.5. It's a town hall 10. No expo. Not, sorry. No infernos. Expos are upgrading. We only have a level 21 key, uh, queen, so it's a rush 10 all 10. And it has over half a million gold and elixir. Let's get some loot hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. Let's attack this base. I'm going to attack this base from the queen side to the bottom side. And also, we got sweepers pointing down and up. So we're going to come at this base from the blind side of the sweeper. Also, we got some max balloons in the clan castle that's a huge help so let's get this thing going guys balloons on either side max clan castle um, in the middle minions behind let's put down some more minions let's haste definitely haste up these groups really quickly and let's drop a poison spell let's rage over the queen let's haste the group of balloons over here oh my goodness guys it's not going perfectly it's not going great get up there buddies let's go why, why are these balloons lagging so much? Is it the, just the sweeper? Like, are we really being being destroyed right now by the sweeper? We are. Okay, let's drop this haste right here. Definitely going into the sweeper is not a good idea. I meant to go on the other side of the sweeper, uh, but it didn't work. This poison spell again, this queen. We got one more haste. So what's the best way? Let's put down this haste for this air defense here. Oh, my good. Oh, I got one more haste. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. Yeah, I'm not even going to get to use my last taste. All my balloons are down. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to use my queen to distract the archer tower. I'm going to drop my minions over there. And we're going to get that dark elixir out of the drill and the other dark elixir out of the other drill. Let's pop the queen's ability. We killed that archer tower very nicely. Queen's going to step up, take out the Dark Elixir out of that drill, and then if we can get this one minion to take out the Dark Elixir. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Yes. Nice. Nice, buddy. Awesome. Okay, now if we can get this Queen to take out this Wizard Tower, we are going to be in good shape for taking out the Town Hall. Um, unless this, uh, this, wow, that Mortar's doing so much damage. Stop it, Mortar. No. Quit that. Why? Why would you do that to me? Ugh. All right, well, that's okay. We don't really need the Town Hall, necessarily. I would have loved to have done better. The Sweeper, guys, it's one of those defenses that you don't think is going to troll you so bad. But it does. It, it does. It did. It's the, the Sweeper ruined our raid. But we still got over 300,000 Elixir, which is our goal. And uh, just under 3,000 Dark Elixir. Or not not, not just under. Uh, about 2,300 Dark Elixir. So not too bad as well. And look at that. Justin Rogers. We need donation snap in the chat. Oh my goodness. Justin Rogers. Uh, coming in the clutch today with a grand total now. Plus five. Yep. Of $37 as the MVP top donator of the day. Is anybody out there even going to try to compete with him? I mean, I don't know if I would if I was watching. Uh, <laughs> top donator becomes the MVP in the yellow letters above my head. So, Justin, thank you very much. Donation hype in the chat. Thank you, my man. You're amazing. You're amazing. Every single donation, guys, going toward a new laptop for the channel as um, obviously making content on the road is difficult when you're using a PC. <laughs> so, yeah, str the struggle. Now let's get the next Loonian going. What's the struggle? What's the wait? What's going on? Oh, we've got, we have an extra haste. Okay, let's get the next Loonian going. We got three minutes before the next army is good. And then we can go back out on the warpath. I think it's a water, it's time for a water break, huh? Hey, Klaus, would you recommend me to upgrade my balloons instead of Barch to uh, farm with Lunian? Honk Lamb. All right, so um, the question is, should he upgrade and farm with Lunian first or Barch first? And I recommend Barch first because the beginning of a new town hall level usually requires a ton of elixir. And if you're farming with Lunian, the cost of elixir is a lot higher. I mean, nearly like two and a half times more elixir cost. So I recommend Barch for the first part of any town hall level just because you need a lot of elixir. But then, yeah, switching over to Lunian if you're really needing dark elixir or something. Sure. But um, to answer your question directly, no, I don't I don't think you should prioritize Loons and Lunian first. Oh my gosh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we got just under a minute to go before we have another 
army and we can go back out and do another uh, Lunian raid. We've got, what, 21 minutes to go before our boost is over. Again, after this, we're going to be doing some base reviews on a separate stream. So definitely follow me on Twitter. I'll post a link whenever I go live again. Or, hey, if you just stick around, I think I think if you just stick around on this page, then um, then you will, you know, you'll, you'll be here whenever the stream starts. Or... Another option is if you don't have Twitter, just subscribe. If you're like a new a new viewer, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so that whenever I do go live with the next stream or future videos, future streams, etc., you will um, you'll be able to watch and enjoy and be notified of that. Definitely a, a recommendation. What does MVP mean? Ruben, what's going on, man? Ruben, MVP most it actually means most valuable person. And I guess that kind of that kind of makes sense here. Because um, most valuable, top donator, it's the same thing. MVP shorter than typing out top donator. But that's what that means here. All right, guys, we've got our Lunian. We don't have any Clan Castle troops, so that's unfortunate. But let's go. Let's get it. Klaus, how do you recruit members to your clan? I actually don't. Um, well, I guess I guess I do. My channel is a recruitment. Like, you know, I get the subscribers, they want to join a clan. We have a, a good, strong, serious war clan. But as far as the application is concerned, as far as like accepting people's concerned, I don't do any of it. So, you know, I've had people get on my channel mad because they didn't get accepted into the clan. I had I had nothing to do with it. I'm not even on the server. So, you know. <laughs> oh man. All right. So I'm, I'm seeing here. How do you donate? I've, I've answered it a few times, but I will answer it again for you, my man. Um, you donate by typing in exclamation point donate into the chat. A link will pop up. You can donate through that. Or if you have an Android device, you can use super chat. It's a little dollar sign button at the bottom of the chat. Now, guys, look at this base. 3,994 Dark Elixir. It's a Tunnel 10, but it has no Infernos. And the Expo, like one of these Expos is on ground. This one's on air. So let's attack this base. And I think... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's an Inferno. That's a single targeting Inferno. Is there another one somewhere or is there only one? There is only one. It's a level one single targeting Inferno. So let's attack this base. Um, we got a sweeper pointing down. Do we have another sweeper? Yeah, it's pointing down too. Okay, not not too bad. I'm gonna do a four finger deployment here and just spam these balloons down very quickly. Let's also put down our minions. It's like so. Let's send in our balloons and haste them up quickly. Let's haste into the center and just keep an eye out. Let's see the best place. Yep, haste spell for these balloons here. Haste spell for these balloons here. A spell for these balloons. Oh man, Tesla farm. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. All right, I've got one more rage spell. And uh, unfortunate that all of our balloons on the right side died. So that's terrible. But the good news is, guys, is that we are doing a very good job of clearing up a side so that we can get troops into the middle and grab that dark elixir. So that's good. Balloons are in. Wiping out the... I wish I had another haste. I would totally haste balloons over and wipe out that wizard tower in the air defense, but it's not going to work. So... Now, guys, let's use our minions to snipe some some loot. We got rid of all those Teslas. That's helpful. These minions should take out all the Dark Elixir out of the storage and possibly that drill. I'm not entirely sure. So what can we use our queen for? We could use our queen for elixir and whatnot, or we could we could get the town hall and the enemy queen and make sure we get this. Let's just let's show a little patience here. Put down another minion for the Dark Elixir storage. I want to know if the minion will get destroyed while it's targeting the Dark Elixir Drill by that air defense. If it does not, good. Then I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll use my queen on something else. I've got the time to wait. Yes, it will. Okay, so I've got to use my queen. I'm going to use my queen on the town hall. And also the enemy queen. Let's use our minions on these exterior distraction buildings. Pop the queen's ability. Kill the queen. Bam. There we go. And then now, guys, hopefully the queen steps up and takes out the Dark Elixir out of that drill there. And then that will do it for the attack. I'm actually kind of surprised that we didn't do better, considering Loon is pretty awesome. But, you know, it's, um, it, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You can't, you can't play in all the time. All right, so that was a 60, oh, wow. Free Army Camp, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag Free Army Camp for the chat. We have ourselves a free set at what, 1%? 2%. Nice. All right. So 62%. Now that minion's going to go down. 
Um, again, I'm kind of disappointed in that percentage in that attack, but still, the Dark Elixir is solid. I attacked that base for the Dark Elixir. 3,200, not too shabby. The Elixir with the loot bonus passed up 200,000, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, we, de we lost the Elixir in that attack, but it happens on occasion. I enjoyed hitting that base. It was a fun base. It was a rush base. It was a, it was a fun base to hit. All right, so how much longer? We got 15 minutes before our boost is done. I've got a clan castle request out, so we've got a little bit of time. It's time for some more water. And look at all that hashtag, free army camp. I love it. They coming was here 10 minutes ago and you missed him. Hashtag noob. <laughs> Goose Nation, you're so funny. Um, sorry, TC, I missed you. I still love you, though. Ray Vernon asks, do you like Call of Duty? Of course I like Call of Duty. Who doesn't? <laughs> I actually would love to play Call of Duty on my second channel during a live stream, but um, I, I just, I'm always struggling for time. You know, I'm always, I'm always struggling for time. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. Maybe one day I'll have time for it. We got four, three minutes. Oh, the, the number changed as I looked at it. We got three minutes to go before our next Lunian attack. We have nearly, uh, with the loot, actually with the loot bonus, we do have a five million gold in our storage and three or 4.1, 4.2 million in elixir. And then actually six, 62,000 dark elixir. So we're looking good for uh, using this loot. We have one builder available, all from our Friday stream. Guys, make sure and, ch and tune in on Every single Friday for a Fix Out Rush series at noon Central Standard Time. Um, looking forward to the end of this stream. It's going to be good seeing how we spin this loot. Klaus, reply to me. I will send you pizza. iOS master, you owe me now. Klaus, you're the best YouTuber. I love your vids. Logan Turner, what's up, my man? Good to hear from you. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Klaus, how can I upgrade? Oh, good question. Steven0039. Klaus, how can I upgrade walls fast while rushed? Steven, I am struggling with the same issue. Farming with Barch or Lunian or whatever to get gold, that's the only way. But at the same time, I'm struggling because I'm keeping my builders busy, so I'm, I'm using a lot of gold on, on buildings. Luckily, today, I've only got one builder available. I'm, I'm working on, look at that, an Air Defense, a Tesla, Barbarian King Barracks. I mean, lots of good stuff going right now. So I'm going to be able to use pretty much all of my gold on walls. So that it's kind of just, uh, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of patience. Whenever you're farming up these uh, these Town Hall 10s, these, these well, this, this rushed accounts or any base for that matter, it always takes a lot of patience. How can you send money from Apple products? Okay, Eric Patterson, what's going on, my man? So, uh, Super Chat is only Android. You are absolutely correct. If you are on an iPhone, uh, look in the video description. There is a link, the top link, the, the top link in the description is a donation link. Or if you type in exclamation point donate, then it will uh, it will pop up. It'll, it'll uh, a link will pop up in the chat. And you can use that to get to the donation, the, the donation thing. And by the way, Petty YouTube, what's going on, my man? Uh, Petty YT. Donate one dollar through PayPal. Unfortunately, my system does not bring up notifications for anything under two dollars. So uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It was a one dollar donation through PayPal. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, and the message was, Klaus, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you, Petty. You're absolutely amazing. Every single dollar is welcome and accepted. And I'm so grateful that you guys even consider me worthy of your donation, worthy of your your financial support. Um, and by the way, for those of you that are thinking about it. Um, Patreon is a great way to be a consistent supporter of the channel. You get access to a free, uh, like a server, a private server where I chat quite often with, uh, with the patrons. I got, I think there's a team, I think there's about 20 of us now. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun. Also, whenever I do special events on the channel, the patrons get first pick of whether they want to be involved or not. So that's something like if we do, if we do like a war, like a fan war, which I'm planning on doing one this weekend. So it's. Stay, stay tuned for that. Uh, a clan war where I've got two clans, fill them both up with subscribers and war against each other. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, but if you are a patron, you get first choice to join those clans. So just something, just something to consider. Something to consider. Oh man. Klaus, I always tend to max elixir. How do I, how can I fix this? Should I use a more elixir heavy attack? Jake Casey. Hey, hey. I understand your issue. I really do understand that 
having Elixir, Max Elixir, is fine. It's okay. Um, if you want to use Elixir and have a strong attack, then just use Dragons and Balloons. That's a, that's a great Elixir heavy thing. Um, another one would be like P.E.K.K.A. Lots of P.E.K.K.A. with healers. That's a good attack strategy too if you're just looking to just burn Elixir. What does OP mean? O'Shane Beetle. What's going on? Um, OP means overpowered. So, for instance, if, if we're talking about a troop that just three stars all the time, they are OP. They're three star. They're, they're overpowered. All right. So, here we have another dead Town Hall 10, guys. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a dead base hype. And the loot is fantastic. So, let's get in and let's check it out. Um... Let's attack this base from the far left. I'm going to try to stay out of the sweepers. You guys have seen how bad sweepers can be for a base. And also, I'm going to deploy a balloon and wipe out this wizard tower early. Distracted it on one. These other balloons should show up and wipe it out. There we go. Very nice. Now let's get in here. We're going to attack this base directly from the left-hand side, trying to stay in the blind side of that, uh, of that sweeper there. So let's haste and haste. What else? Let's poison over the queen. Let's rage over the queen. Let's haste this big group of balloons over here. Haste over because for some reason I did not expect those balloons to turn around like that. Uh, how are we doing? Are we okay? Let's haste this over here. Haste this over here. One more rage, guys. How are we going to use it? Let's rage. These uh, these groups are going to converge, so sending them in with the rage spells is a great idea. The, uh, the likelihood of three-starring any Town Hall 10 with developed defenses is very difficult, even if it's dead. So um, we're not going to three-star. However, I see an opportunity to grab a ton of loot on the north. So, yeah, Minnie's taking care of the south. Let's use our queen for the north. We'll start on the end of the dead zone. So this is the dead zone. So if you start on the end of that, she is guaranteed to walk to the right. That's a good set of advice there. Now, the queen will take care of the mortar, and then she's going to walk around. So I'm going to try to hold on to my ability as long as I can here. Uh, bam! Oh, my gosh. That was close. Okay. Gold storage. Oh, man. Yeah, she is so dead. Yeah. <laughs> that archer tower destroyed us. All right. Let's use our last minions for this elixir collector. We got the town hall. And, oh, man. Minions. Minions, come get the elixir. Yes. Yes, smart minions. Yes, mega minions. I love it. All right, so that was awesome. We almost grabbed it. We got a pretty solid two star on a, a dead town hall 10 with some really, really weak troops. So not too bad. Um, loot hype in the chat for, for sure because that was a really solid and productive attack. Let's see what we ended up with. We ended up with 380 plus loot. So 420,000 elixir. And 1,840 Dark Elixir, plus a ton of gold, too. Over 400,000 gold. Uh, yeah, loot hype in the chat. That was absolutely amazing, guys. Now, hopping back over. We got Lunion coming again. Unfortunately, because of this upgrading barracks. Oh, this is so awful. The troops are taking forever. So it's going to take four minutes before we have another Lunion. And this will be... The, based on my experience, this will be the final raid of the stream, and then we'll spend our loot, I will end the stream, and then about 10 minutes later, after I take a break, get some more water and whatnot, we'll come back and we will do some base reviews. It's going to be a lot more relaxed, I'm going to turn off my lights and stuff, because it's hot in here, <laughs> and we'll just do some, some base reviews and have fun. So, kind of like the after party, and then the after party of the after party will be on my Discord server. And then the after party of the after party of the after party will be in my Patreon server. I think that covers it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Obviously, my Twitter as well. I always post my Twitter after the streams, or I try to. And uh, yeah, so definitely follow me on Twitter for the future, for future reference. So what is that? Four hours? No, four, four hours. Wow. Waiting four hours in stream would be awful. Four minutes to go before we are good to go. We're ready to go. Actually, three. It's three minutes to go. Before we're ready. Oh man, so it's been an amazing two hours so far, guys, getting two boosts. We're, we've gotten so much loot. I started this whole thing with barely any loot, like 100,000 golden elixir a piece. And now we got so much loot. We're gonna spend it all. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I am how long? Two hours and 26 minutes away from my personal break. So no big deal there. Not a struggle, not a problem. It's going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be good.
All right, what is your Discord gamer tag? I have no idea, but go look in the video description. There is a Discord chat server that you can check out. Um, good idea to do that if you want to stay in tune with me. Also, I do post announcements on there. My, the, the best way to get in touch with me is Twitter. But, you know, if you don't have one, don't want one, can't have one, whatever. Discord's the next best thing. <laughs> if Klaus reads this comment, I'll subscribe to his channel. Eric Tew, hey, I, I got lucky and saw it, man. It's not... It's not like I'm choosing to ignore comments. It's that there's so many I just literally, uh, literally can't say hi. Uh, like I literally can't see it because there's 37 messages per minute. I'm gaming. I'm answering questions. I do my best to keep up, but there's just no way I could keep up with all of them. Why so many loons? I typically prefer like a 30-45 comp. Lazy Canadian 37? Uh, whatever you like. I, I like having more balloons because I have weak minions. These are level 3 minions, and, and that's Tunnel 8 level, because I just haven't upgraded them in the lab yet. This is a rushed account, and I'm having to do what I can. But even on my Tunnel 9, I use the same comp and 3-star all the time. So I like I like the 38-25 the, uh, composition, but you can use whatever composition you're comfortable with and which one you like. What is Discord? Discord, Nishat Hussein, is a, a an app on your phone. Just the same as the YouTube app, just the same as the Clash of Clans app. Uh, it's a chat app. And it's a good app too. It's like anonymous, you know, you don't have to worry about getting spam mail or anything like that. It's a good free app. What is your chat server? It is in the, it's a link in the video description. Go ch uh, just, uh, just go down there and check it out. I think if you type in exclamation point discord, a link will pop up. I'm not, it should. If it doesn't, it, I'll, I'll put it in next time. Let me see. Commands. Oh, I don't have a, okay. So it's, um, Exclamation point, Discord does not work. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna make that for next time. I don't have the link right now. All right, guys, we got 30 seconds to go before our final Lunian attack of this stream. And uh, then it's gonna be fun. Goose Nation, they coming is live, just saying. They coming is legit, go check them out after the stream. Um, Klaus, your videos are so entertaining and I hope you get your new laptop soon. Anthony Madrid, thank you very much. I really appreciate all the constructive uh, comments that I can get, all the positive comments. You're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Every single dollar of the donations that come through these streams goes toward the new laptop. We'll get there someday. I'm not impatient. I'm willing to wait. Now our Loonian is ready. We've got Clan Castle. I forgot already. Clan, oh, we got two max clan castle balloons. Oh, yeah. That's going to be legit. <laughs> um, how long does it take to max out tunnel 7? Please notice this comment. Um, you don't have to say please notice this comment. It doesn't help your chances at all. Uh, but how long does it take to max tunnel 7? I have no idea. Do a gift card giveaway. Boaz Poe. Hey. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. I'm doing one right now, actually. If you, if you like, follow, and retweet my pinned tweet, you'll enter the giveaway. How long does Town Hall 7 take to max? Only a few months, maybe three? That's a guess. I have no idea. General Torres, you're a very good streamer. Thank you, Torres. I appreciate that. Loot hype, dead base hype, down in the chat right now. Look at this, guys. Over half a million elixir, nearly half a million gold, plus a loot bonus will be half a million. And 2,640 dark elixir, dead base, dead tunnel 10. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Let's get it going. Um, Oh my. Okay. Where is the sweepers? The sweepers. We got one pointing down and one pointing up. So we're probably going to run into some sweeper issues, but that's all right. Let's go at, at the base directly at the queen. That way we wipe her out early. Actually, wait a minute. There, yeah, there's three max storages here. The elixir collectors, whatever. So, yeah, let's just do this. Spam style balloon, yeah. Blind castle, poison spell, minions down as well. We got, oh, I only held on to two. That's okay, I guess. Um, haste spells down. Let's haste this group. Haste this group. Rage this group into the middle. Pace this group along. And what else? Let's keep this group raged in the middle. Guys, this thing is looking good. This thing is looking great. Let's haste this group of balloons over. That way they wipe out the... Oh, sweeper's down. Okay. 
Wow, guys. All right. No, no question there. That was a three star. We need some three star hype in the chat. And, and, and well, we knew it under one minute. It's going to be a minute and a half raid. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was loot hype, three star hype, dead base hype, all kinds of hype in the chat right now. Actually, just all kinds of hype. Hashtag all kinds of hype in the chat right now because that is going to be a solid, amazing loot three star for us. Let's rec let's pop the ability and just enjoy the loot. Oh man, ran it down on me, girl. Let's go. That was amazing. 530,000 gold, 610,000 elixir. I think that might be the best loot grab of the day. Amazing attack to end on. And 2,760 uh, dark elixir plus 18 cups. All kinds of, oh, all kinds of hype right there, guys. Oh man, that was beautiful. That was gorgeous. All right, guys, so the boost is over in one minute, and we have six minutes before the uh, the, the troops are done, so that was the final raid. Um, what's the hold up here? What's happening? Got an extra minion? Okay. Lunion down, request for troops. Everything is set up just for later on. Now, because the boost will end before we get another army, let's spend some loot, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this done. I'm in my progress base now. I've got one builder. So what's the best way to spend this one builder? Obviously, we cannot upgrade our queen because we don't have enough dark elixir. So the question is gold or elixir. What building are we going to upgrade? The dark barracks to unlock the bowlers will take 6 million. Actually, hold on. Let's record. Let's get our treasury loot. It's not much, but it might help. So the to unlock the bowlers, it's going to cost 6 million elixir. That's going to be... That's a huge upgrade. We're going to have to wait for that. Also, by the way, we got four days before our labs open, so we can't spend anything in the lab. So I think the next best way to spend and use our elixir would be to upgrade a dark barracks. I've already got one barracks going. I, I don't like doing more than one of the same type of barracks at a time. It's awful. So I think unlocking... Actually, I've already unlocked. I'm going to be speeding up the production of these witches just because... The more of these elixir upgrades we can do, the less we'll have to do later. So let's do this 2.75 million elixir, which means we're going to spend it. We're going to get to spend all of our gold on walls. This is going to be good, guys. All right. So 3.5 million gold to finish off this line of 44. And then we'll hop on to the final line. Guys, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. 3.5 million gold for all these walls in three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right. So that was, um, I don't even know how much that was. Seven walls, I think. And now all that remains are these. That's 55.5 million. What is that? 11 walls. We've only got 11 walls before we're done. What? You're kidding, right? Are you kidding me right now? That's crazy. So, uh, so I can only do five more. No, four more. Yep. I don't have enough loot for five. All right, let's get these done. Two million more gold in three, two, one, bam. Nice. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Let's uh, notch this. How many walls is this left now? This is, we have seven level seven walls to go. That deserves like a special thumbnail, I think. I think. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it deserves a special thumbnail. Um, because that's beautiful. So what we're going to do now is uh, obviously we're going to be finishing, we're going to attempt to finish all those walls on Friday. So definitely stay tuned for that. Follow on Twitter for notifications or just hit the subscribe and notify for that. But now we need to actually spend this builder and that is going down on this dark barracks going to level five. It will be max, so we won't move it up to the other side, but it will, you know, just continue to improve the offensive capability of our base. So 2.75 million elixir, eight day upgrade guys in three, two, one, Bam. Wow. Guys, we're so close to finishing these level 7 walls. I'm so sick of purple walls. I, all of these were purple at one point. All of them. And now we're almost done. And then we start the epic journey of upgrading our walls to level 9. So, shout out to almost being done with level 7 walls. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Let's Fix That Rush. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like this video in the stream if you liked it. Thank y'all for coming. Subscribe and join the Klaus family. If you have not done so already, we have a blast. Daily Clash of Clans content. Lots of, uh, lots of streams. We have fun with that. And also, guys, definitely turn on notifications because I'll be going back into streaming for doing some base reviews in about 10 to 15 minutes. So stay tuned. 
And whether that ends up on YouTube as an actual video or not, I haven't decided. I guess I'll decide later. But that's it for me, guys. I love each and every one of you, as always. And um, I will see y'all again next time.